Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the Traction uh, May meeting. This is Carolina Zeeb and um, Tom is out of town. He's actually in Washington DC today, being the chaperone for our oldest son, Tommy, who's on the eighth grade uh, trip to DC. So funny enough, after 20 years of living in DC, now they're back um, with the school. So welcome, welcome everybody. I'm Carolina Zeeb, I'm Vice President of Traction RIA. We're very, very happy to have you here. Um, I'll be, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to put in the chat the agenda for today so you get an idea of what's going to happen today. I'm also including the newsletter where you're going to have information about our events, membership, what we do, and how you can benefit from Traction. So let me share my screen. Is right here. Share. And we're going to put it on big. Slideshow. Woohoo. Okay. You can see that, right? Yes. Say yes, Andrea. Thank you. Andrea, you're going to be my, my, my girl today to tell me if something goes wrong, then hey, we cannot see you. I want to make sure that I'm spotlight for everybody. Awesome. Welcome to Traction. Uh, we are the proud chapter of the National RIA for Washington, D.C. area, Tampa, Sarasota, and online as well. This is me. I'm Carolina Z. If you pronounce it Carolina, Carolyn, don't worry. That's totally fine. I know that you're talking to me. Um, disclaimer, crazy disclaimer. No, don't scare. It's not scary at all. This is just saying that we're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about real estate. What we ask you to do is do your own due diligence and we ask you to be an adult. Can you do that? Absolutely, you can. That's it. That didn't hurt, right? Next slide. If um, you haven't, please share our Facebook page. Please tell people who we are, what we do. Because I hate when people come to us after they have gone to trainings or they don't, they come with no knowledge, they spent so much money and then they come to Traction and they tell me that they learn more in one meeting that in months with other uh, programs. So please tell people who we are, what we do, that way we can spread the word. Also, I know your phone might not, uh, you can be mute, but we have a, one of our favorite sayings is, if you're here, be here in the moment for the moment. So put your phone for a moment and then in the next uh, two hours, be with us. Now let's get the chat busy. Tell me where you're joining us from. Go crazy and I'll try to read as fast as I can. So type on the chat, Woodbridge. I know somebody told me that they're in Miami, DC, Falls Church. Virginia, Alexander, Virginia. Wow, Virginia is winning. Toledo, Ohio. Hello, hello. Alexandria, High Point, North Carolina. Awesome. Uh, Upper Marlboro in Maryland, in Florida, Frederick, Georgia. Awesome. You have a deal in Tulum, Mexico. I love it. Uh, Phoenix, more Maryland. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm joining you guys from Sarasota, Florida. I'm very happy to have you all. Okay, let's go to my next slide. If you haven't, make sure you get the Traction Podcast. This is the link at tractionpodcast.com. Um, we have several seasons. We have um, students, members, information. This is a, an amazing resource if you're starting uh, to get you uh, to, for you to learn the words, the terms, and a bit of the real estate one-on-one. -on -one. If you're experienced, you're gonna see that there are so, so many amazing um, information in here. So make sure you check the Get Traction podcast. Also, Tom has this really cool book. It's available on Amazon. It's how to correctly flip uh, houses for a profit. So that's Tom's book. And then if you haven't, make sure you get our app. Um, we're still the only RIA in the country that has this type of app. So make sure you download it to your phone 
and then it'll keep you updated on uh, events. Uh, you can also access benefits, uh, video training. So this is a, a, a really cool thing that you can have on your phone. I always like to thank our staff, ambassadors, or volunteers. Uh, we really appreciate what they do for us. Uh, Crystal McCain, Dwayne, Mark Duncan, and Dini Hurley. This is one of my favorite photos. Uh, we had um, a picnic a few years ago, and this always reminds me how Traction is a family. And then that's Jimmy and Mark. So as I mentioned before, we are the proud chapter for the DC region, including uh, Southern Maryland and Northern Virginia. And we also have the Tampa, uh, Clearwater, Sarasota area. Um, we are the proud chapter. That means that um, we have the support of National RIA in all these regions. We're able to offer you a lot of benefits. We're able to um, bring you the best speakers, locals, nationals. We're also able to keep you updated on legislation, on things that affect us as investors and as small business owners, as entrepreneurs. So we're really happy to be the, the chapter for these regions. Um, every year we uh, go to a convention, the National RIA Convention. And last year, last June, we were um, very happy recipients of the Award of Excellence. And we're heading to Vegas in June of 2023. And I hope that I can put another photo right here and share that with you. I like this slide because this is a reminder that we're doing a good job and also to keep me. Motivated and motivate you to uh, continue to be a five-star RIA. I joke that we just didn't didn't take 10 different photos. No, these are real photos with the presidents of National RIA with the awards, and we love to share them with you so we can be better for you, our members. Um, we have sponsors. These are um, businesses, companies, amazing people that um, have services or products to offer to you, but we have vetted them. Uh, we have done business with all of them. So that's why they're here and they can tell you what they do and how they can help you. Uh, I know I saw Jack. I'm sorry, Sam, Jack. Sam, <laughs> Sam, where are you? <sighs> Let me find you and then there you go. Can you mute, Sam? I'm, un I'm unmuted. Hi, thanks awesome. for, for having me. Hi, nice to see you. Tell us who you are and what you can do for our traction attendees. So in DC, Maryland, North Carolina, Virginia, Florida, we've been lending money and we have a hard money company. So if you're buying a property, you need funding to acquire it. You need funding to get it in order, and then you're going to flip it. We're a great source for re for for you, uh, and we can help you analyze the the house as well. So we take a look at the at the assets value as it sits, and we and it's a after repair value, projected budget, and try to make sense of it with you. Make sure it's profitable. If it is, then we'll finance it. Now it also works if you have a uh, one that's going to be a buy and hold. We are the bridge that gets you there. So you buy it, you get it performing, and then you replace us with a DSCR loan. And that works out real nice for people as well. So we're there also transactional funding, pretty much any of your hard money needs. So like to hear from you. If if you have those needs, just reach out to us at deal at cskyfinancial.com. We've been happily sponsoring Traction for, for more years than I can remember. and met so many great people there. Yes. Uh, wonderful projects, so many success stories. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sam. And I always tell people, you need to know how to deal with hard money lender, private money, uh, transactional funds, your own cash. You need to figure out all the different ways that you can fund a deal because you never know at which deal you will use a determined type of fund. So I always tell them, make sure that you know how every every different way of funding works, and then that way you can choose what will be the best for each deal. 
So thank you so much, Sam. I know you put thank your you. information in the chat, but if you could do it again for me, please, your sure. email and your phone, and then the best way that our, our attendees can reach you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Okay. Float, I saw you there. You're somewhere there, I know. Yeah. And I'm, I was muted. Sorry about that. You're good. There you go. Hi, Claude. So um, I help people figure out how to buy and sell real estate. I think usually uh, I um, usually the most assistance is helping people determine a price, determine the price to purchase and determine the price to sell. Sometimes that's the same person now and a couple months from now. And sometimes it's the person trying to sell the flipper and sometimes it's the flipper trying to buy so if you try to get a sense for pricing or want to get a sense for what you should do, give me a shout. I'll put my contact info in there as Sam just did. And on the prior two Zooms, like I had two good discussions with investors who had very different questions. And I, to both of them, I thought I had some interesting answers. So yeah, if you just want to talk about what you want to do, we might not be, we might not be able to grab a beer if you're across the country, but we can still talk. Thank you, Carolina. Awesome. Thank you, Claude. Okay. Um, specialized trust company is a custodian. They can help you with your uh, self-directed IRA, with your 401k, anything rela related to Roth and self-directed IRAs. They are our main sponsor. I will include that information on the chat uh, shortly, uh, but I wanted you to know who, who we trust, literally and who we have been using for, for a long, long time. Okay. Then Home Depot. And I haven't checked if... Bumping on, let's see. I know... Brian Aguirre from Home Depot was going to join, but I don't see him. Okay, that's okay. I will go and tell you what Is Home Depot can do for from... you. Is there somebody here from Specialized Trust? Not right now, but I'm going to put in the chat their contact oh. information, and then that okay. way you are able to reach them. And also in the newsletter that I sent uh, before, their contact information is there. So if you want to go to the newsletter, this newsletter has all the sponsor's information. Thank you for asking. Okay, let me tell you what Home Depot can do for you. 20% of liquid paint. This is, doesn't matter if it's bare, if it's PPG, doesn't matter how many gallons as a traction member, you will always be able to get 20% of liquid paint. 10% of cabinets. This is a special program that Home Depot has done for us and it's exclusive to, to traction to, let me see, there's a few people that are not muted, okay. 10% of cabinets. Also, 2% cash back rebate, one of our uh, members' favorite. Whatever you spend January to June, they're going to send you 2% cash back. And the same thing July to December. So those checks you should have received by now. And in general, they're going to look at you different. They're going to look at you as a member of an association that spends almost $50 million a year on Home Depot. This is all the chapters combined. So they're going to treat you different. So make sure that... Um, you take advantage of these amazing benefits. So my Traction members, or when you join Traction, you should see, when you log in in your Pro Extra, you should see this gold pain reward on the, on the right. If you go into your phone or your computer, you log into Pro Extra and you do not see this and you're a member of Traction, please email me, carolinaattractionria.com. I will take care of it. You need to have this. This is the way that they'll give you 20% of pain every single time. Uh, this is my little boy, Dominic. He was probably two or three, so this is a while ago. He's eight now. But he's here to ask you, have you registered for the rebate? 
Once you join Traction, you have to uh, follow a few steps. So you're properly registered to get the rebate. So Dominic is here reminding you, have you registered for the rebate? And then I'm gonna have Tommy. He was also very little here about, I don't know, he's 14 now. He probably doesn't fit on that cart. But we got that shot because he was Home Depot. So what better that Tommy to ask you, did you receive your rebate? You should have received your rebate for the period of July to December, 2022. If you answer yes to the following, have not received your rebate, please email me. First question, is your Traction Rea membership current? Second question, did you spend 5,000 or more between July 1st and December, 2022? And third, did you properly register your credit cards on your ProExtra? If you answer yes to these three and you still haven't gotten your, e your rebate, please email me and I'm happy to figure out what, what happened. These are other sponsors, uh, other benefits that we give you as a member attraction, Rent Perfect, um, they do tenant screening, Office Depot or now ODP, they give us different discounts, FedEx, we even have health insurance plans and discounts in Six Flags. This is kind of a general um, idea of what you will get at Office Depot, Office Max, or ODP, whatever the new brand that they want to give them. Um, in general, I always say whatever you're saving here, use it on your marketing. FedEx the same. They give us different discounts. And this is the members-only dashboard. This is where we include every single benefit that we gave you. So if my Colombian English, I'm from Colombia, by the way, so the, the Latino accent, that's where it's coming from. If you didn't understand a word that I said, you can oh, log in to member benefits, um, check the Home Depot benefits guide, enrollment, Office Max, all the benefits that I just mentioned are there. You can also get market updates. Uh, you can get also recommendations for attorneys, accountants, um, some training videos. So it's full of really, really good information and resources for you. You also get a membership card. Um, if you join us online, we'll mail that to you or you can pick it up at the next uh, RIA meeting. Once you get 10 events, we give you gifts, three months of membership, free entry to a Saturday or a Home Depot gift card. So at the end of tonight's meeting, uh, I will virtually give you a stamp. You can just write the, the date and that will count as a meeting. So by now you should have an idea. Is Traction for me yes or no? If the answer is yes, go to tractionreal.com, click on the individual or couple or business and join Traction today. And then you immediately get all the benefits. Today, we're very happy to have Cameron. I'll introduce him um, in a moment after the market update, but this is our main guest speaker for uh, May. We're very, very happy to have him back. Then Friday, May 26th, we're gonna have traction in Sarasota. Uh, we're gonna have a local um, realtor. He's gonna give us the Florida market update. So for anybody in the Florida area, this is the Friday, May 26th uh, luncheon from 12 to 2. So make sure you join us there. And then next month, I want you to mark your calendars because June is going to be mobile homes. We're going to be talking about mobile homes, how to invest in them, how do we work with them. And um, Adrian is going to be with us um, DC, the 15 and 17. And then he's coming to Sarasota on the 30th. And then we're going to do an online webinar for the, our, the people that are not in Florida or DC. So that information is also on the newsletter. It'll be posted on our website, but mark your calendars for this um, amazing events coming up. And now we're going to have Claude give you the market update. So I'm going to stop my share for a moment. I'm going to bring Claude as the main spotlight and then i'm gonna share my screen again and i will open your presentation there you go share and yeah, that works yep. okay is that good that's good awesome so I'm, I'm gonna go through this talk and if it doesn't make sense reach out to me um, after the meeting or next week, and I'll go through it again slower and I'll respond to questions. 
So, um, and I want you to have the, the frame of mind you should have here is as an eye buyer and how that's going to impact you. And you're going backwards, Karina. Hold on. There you go. Hold on. I'm going to stop the share again. Woohoo. On. I don't know why. It should be the right arrow, not the left arrow. I believe. Yeah. Maybe you're on a Mac when everything is reversed. No, I'm going to open it again. Do, 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 do. So it's okay. I, I actually know the first few slides by heart. So Awesome. Could you, you tell know, me why? An eye buyer. I'll open it again. Just in case we, we forget, an eye buyer was um, investor buyers who had lots of money would come into the market and just buy sight unseen and make crazy offers. And they would tweak the house a bit. They would do a little bit of fixing the house and try and sell the house. And eye buyers were great because they were taking slightly used homes and putting them back into the inventory. And if you think of 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, we needed homes because the demand was was pretty strong. And I bars would compete with you all with flippers. Okay, so let's go. And these were some of the I bars we we would we had different markets of the country had different buyers. And as the market changed recently, the question is, well, how has that impacted I bars? So there should be the next slide there, someplace. Yeah, like yeah, like that. Okay. So. What you should think of as an eye as a flipper is that if you're competing with a seller for the home, the eye buyer doesn't want to do much work. If it's got too much work, they can't clearly estimate what the cost is going to be, and it's going to be too much of a whole time for them. So they don't. So the eye buyer really wants really easy homes to do. The eye buyer likes homes that are in in neighborhoods that are easily all cookie cutter neighborhoods, right? So the eye buyer does not want to go to a, an old New England town because every home is different. Eye buyers want things to be really, really easy. So if you're the flipper and you know the market locally, you can ring, you can run ring around the eye buyers because you know what's going on and they don't. Next slide, please, Carolina. I'm not gonna say anything, but you know, Tom does the slides better. But he's you probably not watching, so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. My computer. There you go. Yeah? Okay, like that right there. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, well, we all know what happened in the last two or three years, right? In the last three years, the market was really strong. And if you're an eye buyer, you couldn't make a mistake if you didn't properly calculate and you overpaid for the disaster property, it didn't matter because the market was going to cover your, your mistakes and you'd be fine. And so, if you, you know, if the IBR knew what they were doing, it didn't matter. If they didn't, if they didn't know what they were doing, it didn't matter. They were going to get out of it and not lose money. That's what they were doing in 2020, 2021. 2022, things changed. So let's go to the next slide, Karina. And what happened was that um, the math was no longer working because interest rates and the biggest, you know, the big difference on the first slide was talking about how I buyers need particular homes in particular neighborhoods in an upswing market. And I buyers can work with it, and, and you as the flipper can work with anything, but I buyers have that very specific need. The other problem is that I buyers are very, they're thinking of it as the as the machine. They're perfect automatons, but they can't relate to people. And you know, there are some people, there are some people who are looking to sell their home, their distressed home. They actually need you to hold their hand. They need you as the as the flipper to take care of them. They need you as the wholesaler to take care of them, to answer their gazillion questions. Sometimes to answer the same question many, 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 many times. I bars don't have that that approach. Our bars, it's all what's on your phone. I'll do it on your phone and you're done. And so as a flipper and a wholesaler, understand that you have the human interaction and you also have the local knowledge that differentiates you from our buyers. So know that they're a force in the market to be reckoned with. And right now, 
they're really going away because they can't handle what's going on in the market. Next slide, please, Carolina. I also said next slide, Tom. Scary. Let's look at some of the bigger companies and what's happened in the last year or two to them. Offerpad, two months ago, cut 7% of their force. They lost 121 million last quarter. Um, they were losing 24,000 per home. And um, they also really effectively stopped buying homes. They only bought a few hundred homes the last quarter. Uh, first quarter of this year, they haven't lost quite as much money. They've only lost 60 million. But um, Offerpad doesn't know how to work with the new market. So if you're in a city across the US where Offerpad was a competitor, they're quite not so big now. Next slide, Carolina. Orchard. Orchard is here in DC. Um, they're having staff cuts. They're having a real, they're having a rough problem. And their press releases say that uh, I think it was they said it was the biggest disruption in 40 years to the market. And if you're a wholesaler or or a flipper, and you've been doing this since more than 20, since you know, 2008, 09, or 10, you've seen disruptions and you know how to work with these. These kids, they don't know how to do that. Next slide, Carolina. We're doing so well. Open door. So open door is um across the US. They're the they're the big gorilla. And um they've been losing money. You know, they've lost a billion dollars in the third quarter of last year. They've laid off close to 20% of their staff. They're they're shrinking in, and you can see that they're like the stock, the stock price is showing you that they're the money they took to play with is also shrinking. So open doors there, but not quite as big as they were. Next slide, Carolina. And yeah, you're, so you're seeing the same theme, different companies, same theme, right? Redfin, which was huge. Um, Redfin, their iBard platform, Redfin Now, that has gone. No longer here. Next slide, please. And Zillow. Um, Zillow lost money. And again, Zillow, you've seen assessments on your own home, right? And you realize what, what is Zillow doing? Well, Zillow was not always calculating well. And all of a sudden the market changed and Zillow realized we're not going to do this 2.0, which was more, um, 2.0 was going to compete with us a lot more on the ground. That's gone as well at this point. It's like, Carolina. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's funny. I, I, I um, finished these slides early this week and I had someone call me today in the industry who just got laid off in one of the support industries to realtors. And so everywhere, it's not just iBuyers. Everyone's feeling the crunch. So ad companies are feeling the crunch. Um, Cole, Cole Banker and Century 21 are feeling, are like have removed their iBuyers offering and they've cut their workforce. Mortgage companies are, are laying off, you know, laying off 72% of your staff. That tells you that the industry, the overall real estate industry, is really having to grapple with what's happening right now. And as the wholesaler and the flipper, you have to understand what that means for you for today, your competition today, and what the market will be like in three, four, or five months. Next slide, Carolina. I think there's one more slide of all these companies as well. Yeah, um, Compass, which is big here locally in D.C., they've had three layoffs in the last eight, nine, ten months. People are feeling it. Um, you know, and Compass was, their whole purpose was using technology, and all of a sudden that's not serving them, which goes back to the point where if you can have a personal, hands-on approach to real estate with distressed properties, you've got a niche that a lot of these big players do not have. They can't do what you do. Next slide, Carolina. So these were some of the other companies that I didn't want to do a slide on each of them, but these are the people who have announced through the media in the last six to 12 months that they're having layoffs and they're losing and it's not going well for these kids. Next slide, Carolina. And so what does that mean? Well, that means that if you are not an iBuyer like Zillow, then you merge with others such as Open Door and you start looking at rentals and you start trying to figure out, well, what else would you do? Because the way you're generating money isn't working anymore. 
and you still want to be in the market space. I think there's one more slide. That might be it. Oh, oh, that's it. So can I buy or survive? Well, you know, I saw a couple of gravestones. Will there be I bars two, three, five years from now? Yeah, they will be, but they're going to be a lot smaller. And as a wholesaler and flipper, don't be afraid of them. Just know who your competition is. Go out there, talk to the people, make your offers, good solid offer. And yeah, use Charlie to make sure you've got money. Or Sam today, Sam, Charlie, Charlie is Sam's partner. Um, and get your deals done because there's still money to be made out there. I think there's one more slide, which is the the uh, references. Yeah, good. Thank you, Caroline. And you know what? Once you got it going, you did pretty well. Thank you. I think I failed the test of um, Flickr. I failed the test of uh, of the virtual Clickler, right? It's okay. The point was to get communication across, and we did that, so we're good. <laughs> Thank you, Claude. Uh, his presentation is going to be available at the uh, Traction RIA website, so members can join. Log in and then see the presentation. Okay, let's get the party started. Cam, it's 7.00 p.m. I planned this perfectly for Cameron Dunlop to start. <laughs> He's got so much information and we wanted to start a bit early. So all of you uh, will see him, meet him, and then give them all the information. Wasn't that beautiful, Cam? Seven zero zero. <laughs> Perfect. Couldn't be happier. Appreciate well, it. I'm gonna do a brief introduction, and I'm gonna let Cam take over. Um, I've known you for ten years or even more, probably more. And yeah. <laughs> the first time I met you, I remember you you taught me different concepts that I didn't know. The transactional funding for me was. Hmm. When I met you, I was just wholesaling, doing my deals, right? And then you introduced me to that amazing concept. And then the way you do it is fantastic. So um, that's why we bring you back to Traction um, every almost every year. So you can tell our members, our attendees, how you can help them. And, and you're not only an amazing businessman, but you're so, so good with technology. So I thought that's the perfect combination. So uh, with that being said, Cameron Dunlap, welcome to Traction again, and thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me, Carolina. I'm sorry Tom couldn't join us, but I understand he's he's now leading a group of kids that you you felt were uh, a nuisance and annoying for all the years you lived in Washington, in Washington. So <laughs> when he told me that the other day, I thought, now that is uh, irony at its best. I uh, really appreciate that. All right, guys. So uh, what you're going to want to do is um, close out the chat and stuff for now. And uh, I'm not going to be sharing my screen. And in fact, I'm trying to understand what I'm looking at here. And huh, there we go. Okay. So at the top right of your Zoom video window, there's a little button that says view. Click that and put that in speaker view. Put that in speaker view. And the reason I'm not asking you to do that is because that will put me front and center, and I'm not going to share screen. In fact, I use a, a video switcher, so I'm able to switch between myself and my slides very smoothly like that without having the lumpiness of the shared screen. So I'm here to talk to you this evening about what we call RE essentials, real estate essentials. These are the essentials of successful real estate investing. And when the essentials required to be successful in real estate come together in one simple integrated system, well, lives change and I would know. We are changing the lives of our clients every single day. And I'm gonna give you a lot of good examples of that that I think you'll be interested to, to learn about. So why is this training critically important to you? Well, number one, uh, this is what I'm presenting to you is an end to end solution. So it's everything you need to get cranking in the business. And it's not another piece of a puzzle or uh, another uh, tool that doesn't integrate with other tools. And uh, eventually what you end up with 
is some sort of a patchwork quilt. That right there is not what this is, okay? This is an end-to-end -end solution, everything you need. The tools are all integrated, and what that means simply is they talk to one another. So all of our tools are designed in such a way that they're interconnected. So when you make a change or update one, the other is as well. And so you're not duplicating your work and everything is beautifully up to date. So uh, we're, we're very excited about that because it's, a, it's unusual in the space for sure. This will cure the shiny object syndrome. What do I mean by that? The shiny object syndrome sort of uh, is a metaphor, I think, for, you know, like if you go fishing, you use a bright lure that flashes and it catches the fish's eye. But when it comes to us, the shiny object are other opportunities, other opportunities that take our focus away from what we know we need to be doing. And so you're a little bit like a dog chasing a squirrel until you see a kid on a bike. And then when you see a cat, you're off after that. And so with this end-to-end -end solution, you have everything you need so that you can put your head down and truly focus. And what I have discovered over the years is that when you suffer from the shiny object syndrome, which is extremely common, it is literally a, a career business wrecking curse. So think of it this way, there's you and there's that other money-making opportunity and there's what you really should be focused on. I love that meme, it's, it's interchangeable, it goes with anything. So uh, this will cure the shiny object syndrome and it works perfectly in today's real estate market. This isn't some old wine and new bottles. This is what is working right now here in early May of 2023. And I'm also super excited because we offer absolutely without question best in class training and support. Uh, we take our clients very seriously. We don't hide from them. Everywhere in our tools is a, a link for you to open a live chat, uh, the phone number to give us a call, email to reach out to us. We are here for you and uh, you will notice a huge difference with us on that front for sure. Now, this is something I want you to consider. And I, I think this is meaningful because I've really given this a lot of thought. If I had to start all over, I would want to do it today. I would want to do it today. Well, why is that? There are a number of reasons, but the biggest one of all is that right now we're, we're facing a perfect storm of opportunity, but sellers have equity. That's what makes it so different. Sellers have equity. Well, so what? What does that mean? Well, I'll bottom line it for you. If your seller has owned their house for more than three to five years, they have a ton of equity in it, unless they've refinanced it out, you know, repeatedly over the years. And so that equity gives them options. It gives them a, a, a way to avoid foreclosure. You be the solution. You buy the house. It gives them an opportunity to sell to you at a number that works for you. And in many cases, walk away with cash. In 2008, after the big crash, 2009, 2010, the primary opportunity for us as investors was short sales. And the reason is simply because people's houses were worth less than what they owed on them. When that collapse happened, prices came down dramatically and people had gotten into pricing, you know, houses at prices they never should have paid borrowing money they never should have borrowed, and were absolutely upside down. So check this out. This is an interesting graph. So uh, if you look at where 2008 hit, those are the prices at the time. They dropped precipitously. That was like a stone in the ocean. And that was, you know, the way it happened back then. But here is what we're looking at today. So this graph shows both back in 2008 where that huge drop in prices was, and then in January of 20, February, March, when COVID hit, when they locked us in our houses, values went kaboom. And so from 2008 till 2020, 
there were, you know, values were going up in, in obviously in, in uh, 11, 12 and 13, they were going up very quickly, kind of a recovery. And then they chugged along for a few years and then kaboom, they started going up. And so that's what makes this time so different from the last. So that's why I say, if I was going to start all over, I would want to do it right now. So there are four essentials that are required for you to be successful in real estate investing, and they are simply funding and verifiable proof of funds. That is first on the list for a very simple reason. And let me be clear. If you don't know where to get the money, you've got a problem. In fact, not knowing where to get the money to do your deals is the number one reason people either fail to get in the business, they just don't do it, they don't get in the business because you know they, they don't have the confidence they need to um, you know, move forward. And, and really, that's not all that unusual. If you think about it, it just makes sense. But it's also the reason why people will get into the business and then either quit or fail. So it is of paramount importance that you have funding at your fingertips. And that is a very big part of what I'm here to share with you tonight. So here's a, a letter I got from Faradun Safai. He certainly was glad he knew where to have his funding or where it came from. It says, uh, we closed our wholesale flip deal today. And I'm writing to say thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. We netted over $40,000. And without your funding, we wouldn't have made a dime. I recommend your service to everyone. It's perfect for the market. Now, I'll go on to say that if he didn't have our funding available to him, he never would have made that offer. So funding is the most important of those four are essentials. Number two is motivated sellers. Now, without motivated sellers, you've you've got no business. In fact, there's an old saying, and it's irrefutable. If you're not talking to motivated sellers, you're not going to be in this business for very long. Motivated sellers are where our deals come from. They are who we make our offers to. Then we've got to have motivated buyers. We need to know who the best buyers are in the market where we're doing business, have access to them, and put our properties in front of them without delay so that the transaction process is quick and we get to our paycheck as quickly and as simply as possible. Now, the good news is I'm going to be able to provide you those motivated sellers and motivated buyers on a silver platter without you having to do enormous amounts of research or spending huge on a marketing budget. Instead, what I've done is gather that information for you and I'm going to literally put it in front of you. And then the fourth of those four are essentials is professional, effective websites and automation. We've got to have websites as our sort of quasi bricks and mortar. And because, you know, the, the better they work, the more professional they are, the better the search engine optimization, the more people they attract. And then we want to automate the process so that we're organized and we're professional, we're doing things on time, we're sticking to a schedule, we're following through on what we said we would do, and we do more deals as a result. That's the four essentials in this business. Now, my goal, uh, and I have several, is to do a deep dive on all four of those essentials. I'm going to look at them very closely. Then I'm going to further explain why now is the perfect time to be in real estate investing and to convince you to start if you're new or grow your existing business and do it right now. Then I'm going to pull the curtain back on and give you exclusive one-year access to this brand new end-to-end -end solution. And by the way, if you've heard me speak before here at Traction or other anywhere else, I can assure you what I'm presenting to you right now is brand new. And um, the, in fact, the last time I spoke for traction was something completely different. So this is brand new. Uh, and then I want to show you how and why becoming a member of our community is a simple common sense decision and incredibly worthwhile. Now, I'm going to give you an incentive to stay on till the end. At the end, I'm going to give you a download link where you can get my secret blueprint for success. This is literally 
a visual flow chart, your workflow, step by step, how to do the business as I'm going to describe it here during this training in a flow chart visual format that you can print and put on your wall or carry with you on your phone. And um, so you always, always know exactly what to do next. People are always asking me, they say, I need a step-by-step -step guide. Well, I'm going to give it to you at the end of this training. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Cameron Dunlap and my friends call me Cam. So you, you're more than welcome to call me Cam. I am first and foremost, a dad and a husband. Before I'm anything else, I am those two things, a dad and a husband. And I never do a training or a presentation of any kind without introducing the two girls who are my why. They're the reason I am who I am and do what I do. And uh, Nicole, our daughter, we have one daughter. We'd have, we'd have uh, more kids, but uh, it didn't work out that way. And I can assure you it was not for lack of trying. She just recently graduated from Auburn University in Auburn, Alabama. The kid walked out of there in four years with two bachelors of science degrees and just, you know, hacking around, got her pilot's license before she was even done with high school. This kid is a goal-oriented monster, a chip off the old block for sure. And then my wife, Helen, uh, we're going to celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary in August this lady ought to get a dang medal for sticking with me for 30 years. I'm, you know, I'm wound pretty tight, but I will also say that I think if you asked her candidly, uh, she would agree that she's living the American dream and, and uh, I'm super proud of that for sure. Uh, I am a full-time real estate investor since 1993. It's what I do. It's who I am, uh, you know, as for my business, my source of income. That is what I do, and I've been doing it for a long time. This is my 30th year. Uh, I'm also a real estate technologist. I, I built a fintech and software business simultaneously while I continue to invest in real estate. Today, I focus primarily on uh, residential real estate, although I do own and I do uh, you know, buy and sell commercial properties as well, but the vast majority of what I do is residential. Uh, my team and I are changing the lives of our clients every day. I'm very proud of the fact that I have members of my team uh, that have extraordinary tenure. I have uh, a gal who's on my dev team who started as a skip trace, um, you know, uh, specialist and has been with me for 17 years. My chief marketing officer and uh, business partner, Josh Brown, he's been with me for almost 12 uh, the gal who uh, runs our mentorship department, our mentorship concierge, she's been with me for almost 12 years. Our, our um, uh, head of operations, Julia Wills, who also runs our funding department, she's been with me for almost 12 years. Really, really amazing, dedicated people who care deeply about the success of our clients, but who are energized and who are uh, motivated by the by the successes we see our clients having. And by being in the funding business, we get to see those successes because we see the closing statements and we have them. I'm going to be sharing some examples with you and I'll, I'll just preface that by saying we have the closing statements for every single one of them. And that makes us, I think, significantly different. I don't have a big business. I have a great business and that is by choice. I could have and still could grow a huge business if I wanted to, but I decided a long time ago that I prefer to have one that's more uh, relationship-based than transactional. That if you have a big business, it's very hard to treat your customers like family, uh, and and you're forced just by sheer the sheer magnitude of the size of the business to treat them like a number and to be very transactional minded and oriented. And that's not who I am and that's not the business I wanted. We are uh, a relationship business for sure. And I've been funding deals for clients since 2009. I'll tell you about the first one we ever did in just a minute. So again, those four R essentials are funding and verifiable proof of funds. That's R essential number one, the most important. And by the way, you know, think about it this way. If you were walking around with, with a figurative blank signed check in your back pocket, think of the confidence that will give you. Then there is uh, off-market motivated sellers. That's our essential number two. We've got to be making offers 
to motivated sellers. Uh, and even in a difficult market, and it's it's better today than it's been in a long time, several years since COVID, um, it's really been a strong seller's market. That is shifting. There is enormous evidence to that uh, effect. And, it, and in large part, we see it just through the sheer volume of funding we do and through the success of our clients. Uh, hungry, motivated buyers. The buyers that are out there. You know, uh, Claude was talking about eye buyers and, you know, how they've kind of trimmed down and they're a little nervous in the market. Well, you know what? Here, This is an interesting thing I, I was hoping to remember to say. My clients sell to eye buyers. We look at eye buyers as our buyers. So think of them that way as well. And then professional effective websites and business automation, that is RE Central number four. So let's do it. Let's go through, let's do that deep dive. We're going to look at RE Central number one, funding and verifiable proof of funds. And we provide that through what we call same day, next day, no fee transactional funding and unlimited verifiable proof of funds up to a million dollars per transaction and with, at, with unlimited use. So we'll do as many deals as you want over the course of a year. Uh, the, only, the, the, the only thing we impose really is that we don't fund deals over a million dollars. And let's face it, if you're wholesaling houses in Honolulu, Honolulu Hawaii, a million dollars is plenty. And by the way, see where it says no fee transactional funding. Hold the phone. Don't go away. I can see how many of you are here. Don't leave because I know that sounds a little too good to be true, but it is true. And I will explain exactly why we do that, why we fund our deals for you with no fees whatsoever, and how we do it and stay in business. If that's something of interest to you, I think you'll really enjoy hearing about it. And no, no fee funding is not too good to be true. It's the real deal. Just ask Holland Patton. We funded $177,100. $155 for him. He made $12,845 in a matter of a, you know, a same day, next day transactional deal. And we have the closing statements to prove it. So how did I discover transactional funding? Well, 2008 happened and title companies literally moved the cheese. So back in those days, when we were wholesaling houses, you same today, you either do an assignment of contract where you flip the contract or you take title, you buy and you resell, right? With a back-to-back, -back, simultaneous closing, whatever you want to call it. Now, uh, you know, uh, assignments are fine, but they're getting a little more challenging and there are now five states that require you to have a license to do it. Um, they are, to my knowledge, they are uh, Ohio, Illinois, Nebraska, Oklahoma and Arizona. So, but that doesn't matter because we can always do a back-to-back -back closing. And then there are sellers that pro prohibit assignments. That's okay. We do a back-to-back -back closing. So what happened was the title companies moved the cheese. The way we used to do it was we would use the buyer's funds to fund our purchase. So uh, and, and the way I'll present this is through an example, okay? So I have a friend, his name is Ben, and we got to talk in early 2009. He had a deal in hand, but what happened was the title companies all got together and made a decision across the board that you could no longer use your buyer's funds or float the funds, as they called it, over to your seller's escrow and use your buyer's money to close your purchase. They wouldn't let you do it anymore. Now you had to have the money yourself or from a third party. So that was a big change. No more floating the funds from the buyer's escrow over to the seller's escrow, not anymore. All right, so my friend Ben's deal looked like this. He had a property under contract to purchase for $200,000. And he went out and he found a buyer. His intent was to wholesale the house that was happily willing to pay 220. So he had a profit margin, uh, expected profit margin of $20,000. Now, the problem was he discovered midstream that he suddenly was gonna have to come up with the $200,000 in order to close the deal. When he put it under contract, he didn't know that. 
he didn't find out until the title company said, oh, all right, well, you, you're going to have to put up the 200 grand. Either you have it or some third party. We can't use the buyer's money to do that anymore. If you want title insurance and you want us, the title company or attorney, to close it. That's, where, that's how they make their real money is by selling title insurance policies, the premium. So you're not going to get them to close the deal without buying title insurance. And you already know that anytime you take title to a property, you need to have a title insurance policy. So he was really stuck. Now he's saying to himself, well, crud, I don't have 200 grand. What am I going to do? So he's telling me this story. Well, an attorney friend of his, he happened to be talking to about something else. And the, the attorney friend said, well, how long do you need the money for a few hours a day? Well, heck, I'll, I'll put it up for you and I'll charge you five points, five points or 5% of that $200,000, which is 10 grand. Now, that didn't make Ben particularly happy, but, uh, you know, getting 10 grand, right? 20,000, now he's got to pay for the use of the money. He's got to pay 10 grand for that. So his actual profit ends up being 10 grand. Well, that sure beats a sharp stick in the eye and he had no other way to get this thing closed. So he went ahead and did the deal. So that was where I discovered transactional funding was through that conversation. I didn't even know it existed. Now I knew that the you know, title companies had moved the cheese, but I didn't have a solution to that problem until I had this conversation with Ben. And, and then what also was going on at the time, my accountant was we were talking about my financial situation and I had a bunch of money in cash, a big pile of cash. And he said what any good accountant would say. He'd say, hey man, money that's not in motion is dead. You need to put that money to work. And I said, well, what do you recommend I do? He said, put it in the stock market. Now I was already, I believe, sufficiently exposed to the stock market through retirement accounts. And frankly, I'm not a real big fan of the Wall Street scam. So I didn't want to put any more money in the stock market. And by the way, take a look at this graph. Look what happened. It was right around the end of 2007 when he said, put it in the stock market and look what happened right there, literally a few weeks or months after we had that conversation and I had said, no, I'm not gonna do it. Oh my gosh, am I glad I didn't do that. I am so glad I didn't do that. Well, that's why in 2009, I came up with this solution. I said, well, let's get into the transactional funding business. That's what I'll do with the money. You know, I've always been a creative problem solver. It's what we do. We solve problems for our clients. One of the nice things about being in the fintech business of, you know, a technologist myself at the same time as a real estate investor is I discover the problems that need solving over here. And then we solve them you know, with our technology and make it easier for me first, of course, duh, <laughs> to do more deals. And then when stuff passes muster, you know, we will make it available and not everything, but we'll make certain things available to our very, very small customer base. So it was in 2009 that we started doing this for our clients as a, as a desperately needed solution to no longer being able to float the buyer's funds. And the first deal we ever did was for Katrina Johnson. It was in May of 2009. We funded $36,223 and her profit was $5,777. I never tell folks about Katrina without saying, thank you, Katrina. It was you who helped us launch this business where today, the total amount we have funded since Katrina's deal in 2009 is $86,030,385. And that is as of this morning. That changes on a daily basis. And I literally, before getting on here with you now, went into our system and I went and got today's total funded figure, $86 million. Now, this is where it gets even more interesting total student profits. And again, we know this because we have the closing statements on both transactions, right? There's the A to B and the B to C. We have both those closing statements so we can see clearly what the client makes. And so historical total student profits, 14 million. There's a typo. You know what? I had a feeling that was going to happen because I was going so fast. 
this is what I, it's supposed to say. Let me fix this. It's supposed to say there we go, 190. There we go. Uh, let me show you that. Total student profits, $14,091,190. $14 million that we know about, okay? Now, our clients are doing tons of other deals, doing assignments and, you know, rehabs and buying holds and all that using our tools. And we don't, or it's very rare that we find out about those deals because, you know, people are, they don't spout off about it very often. But when we have the closing statements and can add it up, well, that's kind of nice. But again, that's just on the deals that we know about, which I'm sure is a very small fraction of the, of the actual total. So the average profit that our clients make per deal, and this is a running 12 month average. Okay, so the other numbers are historical back to 2009, but over the last 12 months, our clients have made an average of $17,392 on the deals that we funded for them and that we know about. And, you know, so if you are wondering about, you know, how profitable wholesaling can be, um, you, you know, I don't have time to do a deep dive on, on that process. I'm really just here to show you how you can utilize our tools and do many, many more transactions. But if you're wondering what those deals would look like, this is a reasonable expectation. Now, I can't promise that you're going to make $17,392 per deal. In fact, I can't promise you're going to make a nickel. So there, I said it, but what's important for you to know is that our student average is $17,392. Now, here's how a flip wholesale deal works. It's very simple. You've got party A is the seller, party B is you, and party C is your buyer. That investor rehabber that I often refer to as Ricky rehabber, could be a he or she, uh, that is preferably, it's not a requirement, but preferably paying cash. So we buy the house and this is where the funding is required. And then we turn around and we sell it. And so here's an example of uh, a guy who is a client, Leon. He's the dad on the left there and his son. And what is so inspiring to me about Leon or Lee as he goes by is what an incredible role model he is for his son. He brought Will into the business before he was even done with high school, he was a teenager. And this was just a few years ago. And now Will is cranking out deals with his dad. They're working in multiple states. And he is a budding young entrepreneur with, the, you know, tasting success at such an early age. And the reason I'm so inspired by Lee is because he truly is a role model, unlike the garbage who like to call themselves that in our world. So. Well done, Lee and Will. So again, what about assignments or what's also known as flipping contracts? Uh, again, you know, they happen every day. I, I do assignments all the time myself, but there are scenarios where we simply cannot do that. Like if the property is owned by a bank or an institutional seller, Fannie Mae, uh, Freddie Mac, HUD, VA, USDA, any bank, or frankly, if it's listed with a realtor, you're probably not going to get an assignable contract. And now there are five states that want you to be a realtor in order to do assignments. So in those states, they finally won the losing argument by being wrong, which is to say that by doing assignments, you're acting as an agent without a license, which is a pile of hooey because you're a party to the transaction and you have an equitable interest in the house. Realtors never are a party to the transaction or have an equitable interest in the house when they're acting as an agent with a license. So clearly assignments are not, but that's how political sausage is made. The state board of realtors found an elected official in the state that wasn't doing real well with their reelection campaign fund, promised them a big pile of money if they would sponsor a bill and help push it through and make it a law. That's how it works. It's pay to play in our political system, which by the way, is a giant dumpster fire, but I'm not going there and I don't care what side of the aisle you or I are on. It's a dumpster fire, period. <laughs> there, <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. Uh, so, so look, either, you know, if you're in one of those five states, 
And they are Ohio, Illinois, uh, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and um, Arizona. Well, and get a dang license. No big deal. So what? But look, when you cannot do an assignment, well, that's where transactional funding comes in and saves the day. So, and by the way, our clients pay no fees for that funding, so it couldn't really get a whole lot better. Uh, so here's what I've learned about transactional funding over the years now that we've been doing it since what's 2009, 14 years. Um, for our clients, it makes the difference between making a fortune or not. Take a look at this. Take a close look at this slide. And if you don't have your Zoom window in speaker view, by golly, do it. Put it in it now. This is just a sampling of clients. Um, and then, and by the way, this particular slide, I, I did not update today. This one is, is at least a couple of months old, but um, Keith Everett, Brian Bagnell, these, these are clients that have done, you know, multiple transactions, in some cases, many, the amount we funded and their total profits. I mean, look at the green column. That is real, real life-changing money. And Brian Bagnell, the second one down there, um, actually, we uh, Tommaso is now in the lead. He's now done more, more deals uh, than Keith and Brian. But Brian came to us just like you today, and he said, okay, I'm going to get on board with this program, and I'm going to put it to use. And then he wrote, and he said, recently, I used CAMS no-fee funding. He funded a deal that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to get funded, and I made $7,400 in a few short weeks from getting on board with the program. I also have two more deals set to close in the next two weeks. Was I skeptical? Yes. Was I scared? Yes. But Cam delivers. And that's what I do every day, all day. I deliver. In fact, my middle name could be accountable. It is shocking how accountable I am. But what I've decided, and it is my mother in her inf infinite wisdom who points this out to me on a regular basis. She said, Cam, you love it that way or it wouldn't be that way. <laughs> So I say, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, um, okay. Another thing I've learned is that the way others do it is expensive and annoying for you. They charge big fees. Uh, they'll force you to use their closing agent. They've got all sorts of rules and they just make it really, really challenging. And uh, I, I made it my business to be sure we were never that way. Uh, I saw a business that was ripe for disruption, thus the no-fee funding model, and we have evolved dramatically based on what I've learned. And then, well, then Dodd-Frank happened. And because of it, I came up with the ultimate disruption, no-fee transactional funding. Now, let me be clear. This is not a hard money loan. So you, Clear Sky Financial, there's your resource for your hard money. Uh, this is, in fact, not a loan at all. It's funding. So we don't care about your credit, your income, your assets, your job. None of that matters. We don't even ask. We don't even ask. This is funding. So uh, it, it, the playing field is completely leveled now. You could have an 800 FICO score and a million dollars in the bank or a 450 FICO score and a hundred dollars in the bank. And we see you as equal in our world. That playing field is level. Uh, this is specifically for wholesale deals. Now, the funding is the other tools that I'm sharing with you here momentarily are going to help grow your business no matter what your particular exit strategy happens to be. But our funding is specifically for wholesale deals. So what types of wholesale deals do we fund? Residential properties, raw land, commercial properties. Those are the types of deals we fund on a daily basis. Residential, commercial, raw land, all the time. Rehabs, no. Buy and hold, no. You've got Clear Sky for that, which is perfect. And so check this out. This is Mahogany Goosh from South Carolina. I am so proud of this young girl. We funded $324,000 on this deal. She made $25,165. Now, let me ask you. I'd be guessing at her age, clearly she's a young girl. Can you imagine what that $25,000 meant to her? What would it mean to you? And if you don't have the funds to do this and your credit challenged, you don't have assets or you know, you're new to the business, you don't have a track record, well, I'm here to tell you, 
Wholesaling is the place to be. It's the fastest, easiest money in real estate. It's the perfect place to start if you're new. And it's the perfect add-on strategy if you're already in the business. And that's how I discovered it. I was already in the business when I discovered it and added it on and I've never looked back. But if you're new, it's the perfect place to start because it requires the least amount of everything, frankly. Knowledge, credit, assets, money. It requires the least amount of anything. It's the absolutely the best place to get started and it is the perfect add-on strategy. So what you need is a committed buyer, preferably cash, but that is not a requirement, lined up and ready to go. And then we will fund 100% of the purchase price including your closing costs, only the earnest money is up to you. And so imagine yourself walking around with a signed blank check in your back pocket. You now have that kind of funding behind you where there is no application. There is no credit check. There is nothing. There's none of that. None of it. And that is pretty special. And then we also provide our verifiable proof of funds uh, up to a million dollars uh, for each letter and you get unlimited use of that. And verifiable is, a, is really important to you because when the seller or agent comes to us and asks if you're legit or wants to verify that you're pre-approved or they want to see a bank statement, well, then that's exactly what we provide. We respond to them. We let them know exactly where we stand and that we're ready to fund on your behalf. And if they want a bank statement, we send it. We send it. So that concept of show me the money, that's exactly what we do on your behalf. So I have a bank account where I keep a pile of money that I use for this purpose. So that seven-figure bank account is almost like your own seven-figure bank account. It gives you seven-figure credibility. And by the way, when the seller or the agent reaches out and wants to know more, we just answer them. We just send the bank statement. We don't bother you with it. We don't ask if you're actually working with We just send it on your behalf. And that way, it's expedited quickly. And then when your offer gets accepted, well, you can reasonably presume that we've been back in the background acting on your behalf as your uh, financial arm and uh, you providing you with seven figure credibility. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry about that. So then with that, of course, is the same day, next day, transactional funding up to a million dollars per transaction with unlimited use. There are no funding fees whatsoever, none. I can tell you that Raphael uh, paid no fees whatsoever when we funded $211,000 for him, and he made $28,856. Or Kevin in Atlanta, we funded $505,000, and he made $73,352. Uh, and what an interesting guy. I did a, um, sometimes when I have the time, uh, my team will reach out to someone we funded a deal for for the first time and they'll say, hey, do you want to have a conversation with Cam? And then we'll get on a quick Zoom and we'll do a conversation. And I did that with Kevin. <laughs> what an interesting guy. Really, really made me proud to be doing what we do. So no fee transactional funding. Let's compare me to the other guys. There is no application fee, which could be $250 to $500. There are no points or interest, which could be two to six points, depending on the deal. There are no minimums where, you know, a, another source might charge you a minimum amount, a, a minimum fee. So if you're to happen to be doing a small deal and the fee doesn't exceed that minimum, well, then you get stung. There are no profit splits. That's not what this is about. There are no fees whatsoever. And it is not too good to be true. Now, why? Why would I offer this? Let's talk about the why first. Well, I mentioned Dodd-Frank happened. It did. And I actually read the bill. It's very long and very boring. So if you happen to have insomnia, I recommend reading the Dodd-Frank Act. And what I came away with was, at first was, well, you know, it, there was a whole, there were basically two parts of it. And they were enacted in two big chunks 
um, the part to about Wall Street and all the derivatives and all the stuff that led up to the 2008 collapse, they put big restrictions on. <clears throat> and that went into, uh, that got enacted, I want to say in 2012. And then the part that affected real estate uh, got enacted in 2014. And basically the language was all about borrowers uh, being forbidden from overcharging their, I'm sorry, lenders being forbidden from overcharging their borrowers. And I thought, well, we don't overcharge our borrowers. We've never had anybody complain. We charge two points. That's what we used to charge. Two points for the use of the money. Sometimes a little more, depending on how long the money was in use. It was kind of an algorithm. It was a pain in the butt. <clears throat> but so we charged two points and no client ever complained. I mean, look, if you, and two points is very fair. Think Ben paid five. Okay. So if you had that same property under contract for 200,000, and now you have a buyer who's happy to pay 220. And at the time, if you paid me two points, that'd be four grand, not 10. So you'd walk away with 16 minus a few closing costs versus Ben walking away with 10 minus closing costs. So I thought, well, we're good. But then a friend of mine, who's clearly much smarter than I am, <clears throat> he asked me this question. He said, well, have you ever figured you know, what the annualized percentage rate is that you're charging. If you charge two points for the use of the money for a day, what would that be on an annualized rate? And I thought, well, I'm no math whiz, but 365 days in a year times two would be, wait, what? And then I was like, I mean, I almost fainted. I almost fainted. And I'm here to tell you the reason why because I am afraid of the federal government. I was then, and I am now afraid of my federal government. And all I could see, once I actually processed that, all I could see in my mind's eye was this scenario where here's me and the feds come and get me and drag me away to federal penitentiary. Ah, no, no, not that. This is what I was afraid of. Ah. And I'm here to tell you, I went into a real funk, a state of depression, quite frankly. I uh, told my team, I was like, we can't do this anymore. I was home. I didn't go to the office for several days. And I was moping around the house. And my wife, who really gets the, the credit for this, because she's, she's always been my biggest cheerleader and my biggest critic. She said to me, she said, what? is wrong with you? And I explained the whole thing to her. And she said, well, yeah, okay, I get it. But here's the thing. At that point, I'd been in the business, you know, what, uh, uh, 23 years or something. And she said, you've been in the business more than two decades. You've come up against roadblocks before. And you've always found a way over, around, under, some way to deal with it. You're a creative problem solver. It's time to get to work solving this problem creatively. And oh, by the way, here's an idea. Take a shower and get out of here. <laughs> and I thought, you know, she's on to something here. So I kind of picked myself up and, and started to think differently. She gave me that pattern interrupt, you know, where it's like something, you know, whoa, jerk, you know, shakes you out of your state. That was the pattern interrupt I needed. So I started thinking about it. I thought, well, maybe, maybe if I just reverse engineer this, you know, and, and all of a sudden it dawned on me, I, I thought, well, if I charge our clients nothing, no fees whatsoever, well, then no one could ever accuse me of charging too much. So that's the solution right there. Don't charge any fees for the funding. Well, that was where I left it for the moment because then I had to continue the reverse engineering process to figure out the how, which I'll explain in a minute. <clears throat> Let me give you some, some interesting examples. So here is a spreadsheet of uh, a bunch of deals that we funded for our clients and the funding fees that they did or would have paid uh, at the time. And they ran uh, roughly two points, sometimes a little bit more depending on how long the money was in use. Um, so, I mean, and you might say, well, what do you mean how long the money's in use? It's the same day funding, right? Yeah, but we call it same day, next day funding for a reason. One, it differentiates us. It's part of the, of the, of the, um, the market disruption, uh, because other transactional funding companies usually go.
go bonkers, ballistic if the money doesn't come back the same day. But then there's, you know, you have a holiday or we're in the East Coast and on East Coast time and we're funding a deal in California on Pacific time. And, and just because of wire cutoffs, we don't get it back till tomorrow. Or how about this? We fund a deal on Friday and Fridays are our busiest days. And Monday is a bank holiday. So we send the wire out, you know, we get our day going and we get confirmation of everything. And we send the wire at maybe noon Eastern, uh, maybe a little later, you know, between nine and 10 Pacific, just a Pacific, you know, time zone example. Deal closes, A to B, B to C closes. Uh, the, the closing agent, title company, attorney, they initiate the wire back, but it's six o'clock our time, seven o'clock our time, cut off long gone Friday. So we funded it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is a bank holiday. We get the money Tuesday. That's five day funding. We're fine with it. It's okay. <laughs> and by the way, we don't charge you any more for that. It's no fee funding. End of sentence. <laughs> so uh, going back to the slide here, that's, those are the fees we used to charge. Well, not anymore. Now that's additional profit. <clears throat> that is additional profit in the deal for you to put in your pocket or to use as a negotiating tool or to outbid another buyer. Guys, this was a total market disruption. There's no question about it. A total market disruption. Now you have a resource where you can do these deals and pay literally no fees at all. <clears throat> so here's another spreadsheet of some interesting examples. And Bruce Wall comes to mind. Um, Bruce is a longtime client. And this particular deal was a big time game changer for he and his wife. His wife was not all that unusual in that she was um, a, a, uh, a big critic and was kind of tired of Bruce going and buying another program and then another program. And, you know, so she and he, he didn't really have much to show for it. Well, he got on board with us. We got a deal done <clears throat> uh, almost immediately. He ended up making about 44 grand on the thing. And uh, his wife, who had been his biggest critic, suddenly became his biggest cheerleader, which I think is pretty exciting. You know, if you think about it, the, the cheering section you have either helps or hurts you. And she went from, uh, you know, cr a critic to the cheerleader that she remains today. And so I think it's important too, to note that, you know, this program, it, it enhances others that you may already have. This this is not a distraction. This actually enhances what you're already doing. So another example is Eloise Taylor. Great story. Uh, single mom, you know, struggling to make ends meet. She gets on board. We get a deal done with her. She makes about uh, 12 grand on the thing. And it was a total game changer because before the deal was closed, and I'm not sure of the exact timing, but her daughter had come to her wanting a very expensive prom dress. Her daughter was prom age and wanted this fancy dress. And believe me, I have a daughter and we, had, we went through that. <clears throat> and by the way, I discovered that if your daughter's boyfriend goes to a different high school, you can't wear the same dress to both proms. So you have to have two. Guess how I know that? Well, anyway, Eloise... Her daughter comes to her and says, hey, I want, I, I'm going to the prom. This dress would mean so much to me, mom. And, and, and Eloise had to say no. She had no way to make that happen. Well, then they got this deal closed and in the nick of time. And she was able to go back to her daughter and say, yes, let's go get you that dress. And just think for a minute of what a hero she was in her, in her daughter's eyes and how that made her feel. And how that changed their, their, their relationship and their dynamic. Really amazing. And we know these things because, like I said, we're in the relationship business. And we get to know our clients. And we learn, we learn things like this from them because we communicate on a regular basis. So <clears throat> a couple of interesting stories for sure. Now, what separates me from the others 
is that I put my money on the table for your benefit. And this increases the likelihood of you being successful a thousand fold. I literally, I'll say it again. I literally put my money where my mouth is. And frankly, as of uh, this morning, 86 million times. So there you go. Here's some frequently asked questions on the funding. Does my credit or income matter? We've already talked about that. Nope, not even going to ask. Is there a limit on the number of deals? Nope, you can do as many deals as you want. This is a one-year program. So within that year, we will fund an unlimited number of deals for you. Is there a time limit? Yes, it is a one-year program. And I'll talk more about that. Do I need to do business in a corporation or an LLC? The answer to that is yes. We can't be lending to individuals. That's consumer lending and falls under a whole different set of rules, RESPA, Reg Z, all that stuff. So my company needs to be doing business with your company. Now, if you don't have a corporation or an LLC yet, I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm going to throw a bonus in on this program where I'm going to get you a meeting with tax attorneys and CPAs at, at, the, at no cost to you, by the way, where you'll have a conversation about the best entity given your situation, the state it should be formed in, tax treatment, all of that. So you do it right the first time, or if you need another entity, do it right this time. Uh, <clears throat> at, and, and that consultation, there's no cost to you whatsoever. Then they'll go ahead and form that entity for you and only charge you the basic cost, which is the state filing fees and things like that, that you would have had to pay either way. So now you know you're doing it right the first time or this time so that that entity is there and available to you. And you already know that you shouldn't be buying and selling real estate in your own name. It's just not a good idea for all the reasons you've already heard. So look forward to that. You'll know whether it should be an LLC or an LLP, an S Corp, C Corp, tax treatment, all of that. <clears throat> How much funding is available? The short answer to that is a lot, a lot. Will you fund commercial and land deals too? Heck yeah, we will. I already mentioned that, you bet. <clears throat> Whose money is used for the funding? That's an interesting question. The answer is mine. I have every single deal we have funded in the 14 years we've been doing this has been funded with my money. That's $86 million in deals over those 14 years. Every single one of those transactions was done with my money. What if I use your proof of funds, but then I change course. I, I, I decide to use another funding source. I change my exit strategy. I decide to rehab it or buy and hold it. Is that a problem? No, no problem. <clears throat> you can use our proof of funds all you want. It's unlimited. We will back you up. That is unlimited. And then if you choose to use a different funding source, you know, midstream or at the 11th hour, it's not going to be a problem with us at all. What closing agent should I use to close my deals? Well, you can choose. And that's another big differentiator. <clears throat> Pardon me. Most transactional funding companies are going to have you use their closing, their closing agent, title company, attorney. And that can be a challenge that can create um, friction. It can create extra work. It can create a bottleneck, not us. You choose who you want to work with. Now we do provide a list. It's at our website. I'll tell you more about it later <clears throat> of closing agents in every state we've closed a deal in that we've worked with that we like. We only put them on that list if first we've closed a deal with them and it went smoothly and we like them. And there's no benefit to us or them, frankly. Well, I guess there's a benefit to them, but none to us to put them on that list. We do that as a service for you so that if you're doing a deal in you know, Alabama and you live in New Jersey and you need a closing agent, well, check our list. And, and, oh, and by the way, if you have a closing agent, and I use that term interchangeably to mean uh, title company or attorney, that you're already working with that's investor friendly, well, then we'll work with them. We're going to vet the heck out of them, but we'll be happy to work with them. And if they're good, we'll add them to the list. They don't, by the way, they don't know they're being added to the list. We don't ask them. We don't tell them. They just, we just put them on the list. And if they stink, we don't. 
And if we work with them again and they were good before and now they stink, we take them off. So that list is updated constantly. Sam, one second. I'm just going to mute my mic for a second here. There we go. Uh, just clearing my throat. I didn't want to make you hear that. All right. Can I do this with a partner? The short answer is yes. If that partner is a co-shareholder in your corporation, uh, a, a member of your LLC, absolutely. It could be your mother, your father, your kid, your cousin, your, your, your friend from college, whatever. It's all good as long as they're part of that entity that's buying and selling the property, we're fine. If you come together with a partner and you're both expecting us to service your funding needs, even though you're together as partners in the program, but we're, you need us to service your needs separately, that breaks the model. We can't do that. It doesn't work. Um, so here again is how this wholesale flip deal works. You've got party A is the seller, party B is you, party C is your buyer, and we're buying and then we're selling. And it's on that purchase, the A to B transaction, where we need the funding. That's what it's all about. And it all happens in a matter of minutes or, or hours. And it's all handled by the closing agent with our help. So what's important to note here is you're putting my team on your team. And I'm telling you, we have been doing this a long time. There's nobody at it that's better than we are. And to develop, build and develop a team and for them to have the experience that mine does, to be able to call that team your team, that's significant. So we work with the closing agent. And in some cases, that means, you know, helping them through the process and literally teaching them how to do this. Uh, so that, and here's the important thing, your deal goes as smooth as a baby's bottom. That's the idea. We're involved to see to it that this goes as smoothly as possible. So you're not getting beat up with a bunch of questions, stuff they don't understand. We take care of that and we get them in line, get them ship shape. And again, as a member, you've got my team on your team, just like Adam McAdam. He loves having my team on his team. We funded $140,000 on this deal. He made $32,325 on it. We have funded a ton of deals for him. He's in the Jacksonville area. <clears throat> All right, so let's flip the coin now. We talked about the why I would offer this. Now let's talk about how we can do that and stay in business. Well, the biggest part of that is the answer to this question. Whose money do we use? It's mine. So what that simply means is I didn't have to go create a fund you know, by doing a 506C private placement memorandum or a crowdfunded thing, I, I didn't need to do that. So I don't have investors that I have to pay a reasonable rate of return. Uh, so, you know, and, and by the way, this isn't some third party matching service where, you know, when you get on board, we push you off somewhere else and say, okay, you're good. You, thanks for coming on board. Now go get your funding over there. No, that is not how this works. We do it with my money. So you're dealing direct with the source. There is no middleman. There are no investors that I'm paying for use of their money. In fact, frankly, if I had to pay investors for the use of their money, I couldn't do this with no fees and stay in business. So uh, it's not too good to be true. And so, you know, th the thing to keep in mind is that um, we are um, in the business of creating tools. And so <clears throat> let's go back. My wife told me to take a shower and get out of the house. <laughs> and I did. And so now I'm applying my creative sol problem solving, you know, skills. And I come up with this idea. Okay, well, if I charge nothing, well, then nobody can accuse me of charging too much. Well, how do I do that? So it occurred to me and, you know, we are a tech business. We create software and data tools, and we've been doing it for a long time. Although our tools have evolved dramatically over the years, they've become more useful, easier to use, less complex. And we've created many new tools since the first um, iteration. But it dawned on me, I thought, well, wait a minute. If I put a package of our tools, the ones that are most important to you 
um, you know, when it comes to, you know, doing more transactions more profitably, more, more quickly, um, if I put a package of our tools that, that really, you know, help that together, and, and by the way, our tools generally are billed on a monthly basis, right? So you subscribe and you pay on a monthly basis for those tools. And they're, they're very inexpensive for the value you're receiving. But I thought, okay, well, if I put a package of these tools together and we charge no monthly fees and we made it for a year and we asked you for a one-time setup charge, well, then that if that, if that one-time setup charge was enough to get us across the finish line at the end of the year with a modest profit, knowing that we had super users who we would lose money on, and on the other end of the spectrum, light users who we'd make money on, and everybody else would fall somewhere in between there. As long as we came out at the end of the year with a modest profit, well, then it'd be a, it'd be a giant win for, for both of us, for us and for you. And we could provide that funding and proof of funds with no fees at all. <clears throat> and now I don't need to worry about someone accusing me of charging you too much and being in violation of Dodd-Frank. We charge nothing, zero. So that one-time setup charge is is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about here in about two seconds because I know some of you guys have got to go. But let me let me just quickly go back to my slides. Verifiable funding and proof of funds that is our essential number one. We've covered that with our million dollars in no fee transactional funding, same day next day transactional funding, and verifiable proof of funds. Now, the other three, of course, off-market motivated sellers is our essential number two. Hungry motivated buyers are essential number three. And professional effective websites and business automation are number four. And you can see the tools associated with that. So we have the motivated seller data feed, the investor buyer data feed, and iFlip, which is your real estate CRM. So... And because I know that some of you guys, you got to walk the dog, it's did you're late for dinner, it's, you know, it's eight o'clock and you got to go, I get it. So what I'll do is I'll kind of sum this up and then I'll go through the other three, our essentials, who won't take long, but, but out of respect for those of you that need to go, let me sum this up. And then if you can stay, we'll move on and I'll explain the other three parts. Or if not, we'll do that another time. Uh, but, it, you know, the, the bottom line is this is a, uh, an end-to-end -end solution. So you've got a million dollars uh, in no fee funding and verifiable proof of funds for a full year. Is, and there's no limit on the number of deals. The single transaction limit is a million bucks. The motivated seller data feed for a full year. The investor buyer data feed for a full year. That is our latest, greatest tool that we do not make available to the general public. It is only available through our essentials uh, or our mentorship program. The iFlip Pro websites and business automation software for a full year. Private inner circle access, which is coaching with me personally. Uh, and that is on a regular ongoing basis. Uh, and it's live. It's not some recorded thing. Uh, easy to consume subject specific trainings that are like your digital bookshelf that you can get to when you have the time. And numerous bonuses that make doing deals simpler, faster, and more profitable. You get unlimited access to everything for a full year. And I'm very proud to say this is all made in the USA. So <clears throat> my development team's in the US. My client support team's in the US. Could I outsource that to Ukraine and Philippines? Sure. But uh, I don't. I keep it all in the US. So the way we made this work was with that one-time setup charge. And normally that one-time setup charge is $2,497. We'll call it 2,500 bucks, but hold the phone. It's going to get a whole bunch better. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you a, a, a simple question. If, if you did one deal in the next 12 months where we funded it or, or not, you used our tools, would it be worth $2,497 to you? I think the answer is as simple as yes. I mean, let's face it. If you, the $200,000 deal, you go pay two points to get that done. You have a $20,000 profit. Two points is four grand. You just made this up almost two times. But here's the good news. I'm not going to ask you for $24.97. In fact, I'm going to give you two ways to do this. We have a four payment option, which is $4.97 now. And that gets you started. $4.97 in 30, 60, and 90 days respectively. Nothing's held back. 
with the for pay option. You have immediate online access to everything. We are, uh, when, when you go through the shopping cart, you will immediately get a welcome email from us with a login link and you are in. The other option is to pay in full. And basically I pick up one of those payments for you. And then that one-time setup charge is $1,497. And again, you get unlimited access to everything for a full year. Now I realize I haven't explained the other three tools. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to do is honor those. Yeah, yeah. So Carolina, can you mute that? Uh, what, what I'm trying to do is be respectful of people's time. If, if you're saying to yourself, man, I'm in, just get, tell me how to get this and let me get on with my evening. Do it now. Go to tractionrea.com forward slash cam. And there you'll see we created a special web page. It explains everything you're getting. And you can use your Visa Master Amex Discover uh, or PayPal <clears throat> to place your order. And by the way, PayPal has a financing thing they do as, as well. So whether you're doing the four pay uh, or the single pay, uh, you can do that at tractionrei.com forward slash cam. Or if you'd prefer not to order on the internet, I get it. Uh, I've got a team member here with us on the webinar. Nick Calby's with us and he is standing by. So if you want to call on the phone, you can do that. Place your order over the phone. Now I get asked all the time, what happens at the end of the year? Well, you just re-up it for $14.97, right? No, you have the option to renew for only $1,000 and you get continued access to everything, including the bonuses for the next year. And by the way, that is not what they call forced continuity. We don't just come and ding your credit card for a thousand bucks a year from now. No way. Because if you did that to me, I'd be mad as a hornet. And my business works on the golden rule. We treat you the way I want to be treated. So we'll reach out to you and say, hey, your year's coming up. Do you want to take advantage of this? And if so, you say yes, and, and it happens. And if you don't, you don't. It's entirely up to you. It's not forced continuity. But to renew is, is only $1,000 and you get access, continued access to everything for the next year and the next year and the next year. Now, we do limit our enrollments. And this particular enrollment, we're going to limit to 16 new participants. And there is a very simple reason or a couple of simple reasons why we do that. Number one is I'm unwilling to overwhelm my funding team. That would be rude to them and would probably uh, impact the quality of your experience. And I'm also unwilling to overwhelm my, uh, my client support team for the same reason. Rude to them would negatively impact your experience. So doing either would compromise the quality of the support we provide for you and might negatively impact your experience with us. And I am simply unwilling to do that. I just won't do it. So go to tractionrea.com forward slash cam, or if you prefer, give us a call on the number on your screen there, 888-845-5219. Now, if you happen to be a trifecta program owner, which is a previous uh, iteration. It's a previous program that it, it, as a part of Traction Rhea, you may well be, may well have. Uh, your cost to, op to upgrade to the new program with the new tools uh, is only $1,000. And so, and you get everything, including the million dollars in funding, proof of funds, the motivated seller data feed, the investor buyer data feed, and iFlip and all the great bonuses. Now, the way to do that if you want to upgrade is to give Nick a call at 888-845-5219. He'll check the system to be sure that you're eligible and we'll go ahead and process that uh, upgrade for you and you'll have immediate access to our essentials. So that is the, the, the bottom line, which you clearly I'm getting to early, but doing that out of respect for any of those of you who may need to leave uh, or if you are uh, at all concerned about the um, are having to limit that enrollment, this gives you an opportunity to jump on board right now. And remember, membership in this program is going to enhance any other tools or programs you have. Uh, this is not a distraction. It's not an enhancement. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not a distraction. It is an enhancement to those other programs because it's an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, it, 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 it'll fit around anything else you've got going on. Uh, it'll complement anything else you've got going on. Um, so, you know, and by the way, maybe you're doing land deals or commercial deals, buy and hold rentals, you name it. This program makes all those types of deals simpler and more profitable. Okay. 
So if you got to go, grab the program and I'll go through the rest of what comes with it uh, separately with you or another time we can take care of that. But if you can stay, then please do, because what I'd like to jump into now is off-market motivated sellers, which is RE Central number two. And we'd like to put them right at your fingertips. And the way we do that is with our tool called the Motivated Seller Data Feed, the Motivated Seller Data Feed. Now, if you've been around me for a while, you know that I love geeking out over big data and I love coming up with ways to make these programs, uh, you know, either create new programs or make enhance them and make them better. We are, uh, you know, total Kaizen believers in constant and never-ending improvement. It's how we roll. If you've been around us for a while, you know that. It's one of the reasons we're still here after all these years. And so with the Motivated Seller Data Feed, you've got more than 20 different motivations that you have the ability to filter on and to search, which gives you so much opportunity in the marketplace. It's crazy. So this is a screenshot of the Motivated Seller Data Feed. And uh, what I did here was a search in the area where I am right now. I'm, I'm in uh, South Florida for uh, just another couple of weeks. And then I head back to upstate New York for until Christmas. But um, this is um, Stewart, Florida and Port St. Lucie. And right now, if you look in the top right corner, there are 6,709 properties with at least one motivation. And you can see the tiles across the top. We did that to simplify it. So if you have a bunch of saved searches, you can quickly look at which numbers are rising and falling. And I can tell you that the number that I see rising the most is the second to last, the green one there, which is the uh, foreclosure motivation. So here's the list of, of all those motivations that where you have the opportunity to select or deselect. Because I mean, let's face it, 6,700 properties is a little overwhelming. Let's filter that down and let's customize this search to exactly what makes us excited and, and, and literally you know, customize the tool to where it is uniquely yours in how you use it. Um, you've got also, you're getting access to the residential, commercial, and land versions of this tool. And I can tell you that, you know, I mentioned earlier that we, we do subscription billing. The residential subscription is $99.97, I think, something like that, rounded off to 100 bucks. Uh, the commercial uh, access is 200 bucks a month, I'm rounding again, and land is 100 bucks a month. So you're, with this program, you're getting all three, which would literally be $400 a month to have access to all three of those if you were on a subscription basis. But because you're an RE Essentials member, you get access to all of those with unlimited uh, use for a full year. So that's important to point out. So you get off market motivated sellers of residential, commercial and raw land. So no matter what you're focused on, you've got access to motivated sellers. And these are off market deals. There is a tiny, tiny little percentage of the, of the properties in here that are listed on the MLS or that are actively being marketed for sale by owner, by the owner. Um, and when that's the case, it'll, it, you'll see that indication. It'll tell you. But we've got all different property types. Um, and if you were to select re, uh, commercial or land, you'd see the different types of commercial properties or land. Um, but for residential, condos, multifamily, single family, manufactured homes. And by the way, on residential, multifamily is up to four family. And then you can sort on or filter on the number of beds, baths, square footage, year built, assessed value. Um, my sweet spot there, my buy box is going to be a three bedroom, two bath, probably uh, 1500 square feet or less built in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, and so that's sort of the sweet spot for what is the perfect entry level house today, which is where there is the greatest demand. And we use a, uh, a technology we call motivation stacking. And I'll show you more of that as we go. Uh, but you can begin to see it on the left side of the screen there where you've got those colored bricks that are indicating the motivations on those particular properties. Uh, we've got, if you look to the right, uh, we've got matching and non-matching uh, addresses over here. And uh, I don't have time to go deep on this, but um, suffice to say, this is a way 
to um, filter out lazy competition, um, whether it's a bank seller, an entity seller, or a private seller. Um, and then if you're going to do mail marketing, if they've you know opted out of that, the do not mail number. We also have um, filters for phone numbers and email addresses if you only want to look at properties where we're able to get a phone number or email address. Last sold date how many properties that the particular uh, property owner holds and the equity. So you can literally sort on high equity, low equity, however you want to go after that. So I mentioned motivation stacking. Um, and what I mean by that is where we present to you first, the houses with the greatest number of motivations. So with the way that it's designed, it shows you three tiles. And then if there's more, it'll say plus one or plus two, or in some cases, plus three. Uh, and so the more motivations there are, the higher on the list they are to bring them to your attention. That's the whole idea, is to show you the greatest uh, opportunities first. Now, here's a pro tip. This is, uh, this is one of those big, big brain tips. Don't tell the seller you know anything about their motivations. Let it come out in conversation, because here's the thing. If you indicate to the seller you know about the fact that they're facing foreclosure, they're in bankruptcy, they've got unpaid property taxes and liens and all that, they're not going to like you. They're going to think you've pried into their private business. You haven't. I mean, frankly, we've got about eight different data sources that feed this, but the the, the vast, uh, or the biggest component of all those different data sources is the public record. It's all a matter of public record. You're not invading their privacy per se, but they will feel like you are. And here's something to really think about. People do business with people they like. So don't let on that you know anything about their motivations. Let it come out in conversation. I actually bought a house from a guy in foreclosure. I knew it the whole time. He never told me. He never told me Liz Pendens was filed. He was behind on a few payments. He, you know, that all just became part of the purchase price because he had so much equity, he was able to sell for more than what he owed plus you know back payments and all that and walk away with a check and still sell at a price that worked for me. So there was no need for me to ever know in his mind that he was in foreclosure and he never told me. He was probably embarrassed by it and I could see that. So let it come out in conversation. And that's exactly what Michelot did when we funded 216,000 on this deal, he made $67,884 on it. Unbelievable. Just such great numbers. Really awesome. So, okay, here is, um, this is a slightly different search. I looked at the city of Port St. Lucie because I want to show you some of the detail, right? So we just say, all right, well, let's look at this house uh, and let's look at the detail. And there it is on Southeast Solas Avenue. Uh, and the information we're able to get you about the seller, uh, which um, is, I'm going to go back to, and you'll see tons of it. But right now, there are over 5.7 million off-market properties with motivations in the system. And um, so I'll go back to the, to the um, detail, but check this out. Since I don't know where you are, now I know many of you are from the D.C. area. Uh, so, you know, maybe you're doing business in Baltimore. I did a quick search in Baltimore, 22,000 uh, houses with motivations in uh, the county of Baltimore, Maryland. Here's uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, 7,229 just in the city of West Palm. Um, the county of Montgomery, Alabama, 7,349 houses with motivations. It's incredible. So much opportunity. The city of Las Vegas, look at this, 35,347 houses with motivations just in the city of Las Vegas. That doesn't even count Henderson. Uh, the county of San Bernardino, California, 35,979 houses with motivation. motivations. Guys, what I'm trying to show you here is massive opportunity. Massive. In, in an environment where your competitors would, wouldn't even, you know, you'd probably have a hard time even getting them to believe this kind of opportunity exists out there. You can search by radius or draw a polygon all the way down to the street level by drawing on the map. So take, check, check this out. This is so cool. So I chose the circle tool, all right? So uh, a rate or radius tool. 
which by the way is uh, up here there's like a little bullseye and because i've selected it it's xed out and <clears throat> the default is a one mile radius and then if i want i can drag that out and make that radius larger so then if i want to use the polygon tool i just click that and now i literally draw i click uh the the mouse on your computer around this neighborhood and then i can zoom in on it and just in this neighborhood there are house 54 houses with motivations so you can really drill in and get very very serious about particular parts of town even uh on this on a street level let me go let me go back to that even on a street level so i did that here I literally clicked a polygon on this street, Coleman Avenue. And so now I'm watching the houses on this street. And right now there are two houses with motivations. You can also search any address in the U.S. and get all the property and owner data and contact information instantly just by clicking that little house right there and then entering the address of any property anywhere in the U.S. This tool has every property in the USA. So you could be driving down a, the street and you see a house that looks like an interesting opportunity uh, because it's, you know, run down or looks vacant. And um, you could enter the address. And there, if there's motivations, it'll tell you. And if there aren't, it, it'll tell you all about the seller information, when they bought it, all of that stuff that's public record and gets you contact information that we pull from other data sources so that you could reach out to that seller while you're out driving for dollars, or if you have a bird dog doing that for you and they've got access to your tool, now they're doing that. Um, so next thing is you can set up alerts for new motivations via email or text. And what that means is now you select a neighborhood or a search area, it could be large, it could be small, it could be a street, it doesn't matter, it could be a block. And you set up an alert, you name it, that street, that search, whatever it is, St. Lucie County, you know, such and such neighborhood, the, you know, um, whatever subdivision. And the system will send you alerts by email or text, you decide when there's a new house with a motivation that's being added or a house that's already in there with motivations now with another new motivation. So the system literally watches the market for you and tells you when there are new opportunities so that you don't have to. You can stay focused on creating relationships and making offers to sellers and let the system tell you about new opportunities in the areas that you've already you know, indicated that you're interested in. So uh, owner contact information that we're able to get for you uh, includes the mailing address, phone number when they're available, and that runs about 65% of the time, email address when that's available, which also runs about 65% of the time. And then other properties owned, including those with motivation. So check this out. Okay, so here's a list. This is Rochester, New York. And you'll see the little gear over there to the, uh, the right, right here. You click that. And then what it does is it gives you the detail of, the, of, the, of that particular property, right? So it'll give the, the detail of the Gardner Avenue property. But... When you scroll down, you'll see that this owner also has three other properties and they might they might be in the same town and they could be across the US, doesn't matter, we'll know. And then the motivations on those, and then you can click through on the detail of those to see them. Okay, so here's another pro tip. Always ask, even if you're not sure if they own other properties, do you have any other properties you need to sell? And I'm here to tell you, over the years, I have bought multiple properties from the same sellers many times just by asking that simple question right there. Do you have any other properties you need to sell? <clears throat> so we're going to get you all reported property information that comes from the county. It is at the county level. All right. So now we're looking at a house on Winchester Street in Rochester, New York. Here is the, the and this is the detail. Here's what uh, we're able to provide for you and, and that I think is so exciting, right? So the owner's name, their, their phone number, and, and then we'll indicate if it's a wireless number, landline, or VoIP. VoIP would be, you know, through Time Warner or your cable or your internet. 
uh, an email address, and then uh, the, the address of the owner, right? So this particular owner lives at the property, okay? So uh, that's interesting. That is one of those matching address situations. And oh, by the way, if you're having trouble finding the owner, you can run a skip trace right from within the system. This happens to be a duplex, which makes a ton of sense. Clearly, Christopher is living on one side and the other side is probably vacant. Cess value, year built, uh, lot size, square footage of the house, parcel ID, and then school district. That is very, very important uh, to some folks, and uh, I'm one of them. I, I, I'm particular about school districts for sure, and I bet you are too. Then we have transaction history. This is really fascinating because what it does is effectively give us uh, the opportunity to um, you know, look at past financing and come up with the debt stack before we ever even talk to the seller. So we have a reasonable idea of what they owe. And then by looking at comps, which we have a tool for you here that I'll get to in a few minutes, you know roughly what kind of equity they have going into the conversation, which puts you in a, in a very good place. So it talks about transfers and mortgages and all of that. So here's another one. This one's on Gardner Avenue. <clears throat> this one's got three uh, motivations, owner information, uh, but we also are able to provide you with cash buyer and private lender information that then is displayed on the map when you select that and comps right here. We have a specific comp tool that is called custom comps that I'll talk about shortly, but just a basic list of comps in the area right here with just a click. So uh, then the, another tool that we have in, in all of our data feeds that is unbelievably powerful is uh, this heat map. So with any saved search you have in the motivated seller data feed, you can look at a heat map that's very much like a weather map where you have green is low, yellow is um, medium or, or moderate, and then red is high or extreme uh, would be the case on weather radar. In that case, you know, uh, light, moderate, or extreme weather. In this case, low, medium, and high numbers of properties. So, you know, looking in the Rochester area of upstate New York, I can see clearly the hotspots of opportunity. Now, all I have to do is click across the top and I can see. Uh, where the cash buyer activity is on heat map and then where private lenders are uh, on this heat map as well. So, I mean, think about it. This could take you literally months or longer to figure out. You know, you might decide, like many of our clients, to, to uh, invest in multiple markets. And, and so you would say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at Rochester, New York. It could take you months to figure out this information, if not longer. And here you have it in a matter of seconds, right at your fingertips, which is once again, why I say, if I had to start all over, I'd want to do it right now. Because when I got started, nothing like this existed. When I got started, the internet was, it was a, 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 you know, tinfoil hat concept uh, that was just, you know, nascent at the time. Then of course, uh, we have our mobile version and you'll notice that in uh, that, that little arrow, it's a very common um, little icon used in mobile apps. Uh, our mobile version gives you the opportunity to center yourself on the map. And so then you can see the houses with motivations around you while you're literally driving up the street. And remember, you also have the ability to look up any house by its address, whether it has a motivation or not. But this is literally a way to center yourself on the map, and then zoom in and say, oh my gosh, that house right there has multiple motivations. And then if you're the type of person who is um, you know, fond of knocking on doors, you can do that, certainly. But what do we not let on? We don't let the seller know we know anything about their motivations. Remember that. Our uh, system data is updated constantly. Uh, and we are talking big data. I know that's sort of a cliche term, but in this case, it's not cliche, it's real. We're talking big data. Uh, we have our direct mail click to send style system that uh, allows you literally to uh, utilize 
our letters, uh, your own letters, uh, postcards. We have we have templated letters, postcards, including the yellow letter, uh, all done for you in there. You simply uh, use the macros to fill in the name, the property address, and all of that. <clears throat> and then with a couple of clicks, you've got a direct mail campaign launched. And uh, by the way, that we do that at our cost. That is a pass through. We don't. That's not a profit center for us. And our direct mail house has a three day turnaround guarantee. So when you get that order in, they guarantee they'll have it in the mail within three business days, which is which is quick turnaround. So within just a couple of clicks, you can be doing uh, direct mail campaigns, which are very effective, especially in today's market. We've got marketing scripts and other marketing tool scripts for when you're on the phone with the seller. We've got simple training tutorials and videos all throughout, small little snippet videos that speak to the particular area you're looking at, and then larger overview videos that really give you best practices and how to fully optimize the tool. Um, and those videos are being uh, updated and created all the time. And then, of course, our best-in-class unmatched client support anywhere in our systems. In this case, with the Motivated Seller Data Feed, you just simply click the top right where you see your initial, and then you can fire up a live chat. You can give us a call. You can send us email. Uh, and you will find, you will discover very quickly, if you don't already know this about us, that we are here to help you do more deals. And so we're not hiding from you at all. When you send us an email, when you call us, you get an answer. And live chat, man, I tell you, that is a really popular tool. We find more and more folks just prefer to, you know, get a quick answer. Um, we, we have the ability to do a screen share if you're having a challenge and you want to point to something very specific. You can do that very easily with my team. We are set up to do that level of support. And uh, that's what really makes us different. So you've got one full year of unlimited access included of the Motivated Seller Data Feed. Check this out. This is from Deborah. It says, I'm both thrilled and grateful for my affiliation and alignment with CAMS organization complete. With its vast array of tools and training, it was one of the smartest decisions that I've ever made in my young real estate investing career. My membership has been paid for several times over by a 41,000 profit on a deal that I closed with CAMS tools, including his no fee transactional funding. <laughs> yeah, more than paid for several times over 40. Well, what's 41,000 divided by 1,500? Yeah, <laughs> that's paid for a few times over. Congratulations, Deborah. Super excited for you. And uh, we look forward to funding your next deal. All right. So that is RE Central number two off market motivated sellers and essential to being successful in the business. You now have that covered with the motivated seller data feed. Next. Let's talk about motivated, hungry buyers. That is RE Central number three, and we're going to put them at your fingertips. Now, what do you suppose are the best type of buyers when you're selling houses? Well, when we're wholesaling in particular, investor buyers are the very, very best. There's no question about it. And the reason is because they typically pay cash. And when we're wholesalers, we like cash buyers. We certainly do. Uh, they're, you know, the no hassle buyers. They they're not using a lender that might pull the plug at the 11th hour. They close quickly. They buy from us again and again. Uh, and their deals don't fall out. Now, I would caution you that this is the wasted time and money zone. Finding investor buyers can be very time consuming and expensive, which is why we created the investor buyer data feed. And believe me when I say this took us years to create, it did. And it's going to blow your mind. There's nothing else like it in existence. Check this out. The motivated, I'm sorry, the investor buyer data feed. It's so, it's so new to me even that uh, I have to really think about the name, but it is exactly what it implies. Now, what I did here was a search uh, and in this case, I did a radius search of uh, 25 miles around the zip code of 34990. So that covers a couple of counties, uh, certainly going to cover St. Lucie, Martin, and maybe even a little bit of Palm Beach County. So you have that option here to search in that way. Uh, and then there are filters, right? So uh, let's take a look at those filters. Um, oh, shoot. All right. That's coming on the next slide. Sorry about that. 
Uh, you get unlimited access to constantly updated investor buyers in your town and all across the USA. So this is the perfect tool if you're looking to scale into other markets. The motivated seller data feed, the same thing. That data is available to you all across the USA. Now, we got a question today. In fact, it came to me from someone uh, about this program. They said, hey, uh, what about outside of the USA? We do not have data outside of the USA, but we have many customers who are outside of the USA who use our data to buy and sell houses inside the USA. So I just thought I'd share that with you because that was a question that came up today. So you get unlimited access to constantly updated investor buyers in your town all across the USA. They include rehabbers, wholesalers, cash buyers, buy and hold rental property uh, buyers. So here's another pro tip. It's easier to find a property for a buyer than it is to find a buyer for a property. Now, I know that sounds a little counterintuitive and credit for that concept. That saying goes to my great old friend, Ray Rock, who said that. He said, it's easier to find a property for a buyer than it is to find a buyer for a property. And what he really means is when you know what your buyer wants, you go find that for him or her. It's sort of a way of reverse engineering the process. And so if you were to ask Jose if it works, he'd say, yes, it does. We funded a deal for him, $55,594. He made $18,167. And uh, super excited about that deal, no doubt. All right, so back to the filters. Here we go. We've got investor types. So if you want to be looking specifically for one or more of these types, the default is all are selected. You deselect the ones that are not of importance to you right now. We've got cash buyers, landlords, rehabbers, wholesalers, uh, and uh, land buyers, right? So property types, residential, commercial, and land. Now it should you should it should hit you right now. Okay, on the motivated seller data feed, there's residential, commercial, and land. S same here. And by the way, that is not a coincidence. That is absolutely by design. So if you want to flip land or commercial properties, we've got your buyers here as well, not just residential. And then the funding source that they use, cash, uh, a mortgage, a private lender, or unknown. And unknown is one that counties report, you know, where we have no control over it. And, and it might, you might find in your county what that means is X. You know, there's something on the order of th over 3,000 counties in the United States, and they're all a little different. And trying to aggregate all this data and present it in a way uh, that, that is, you know, useful is, is a real challenge. It's, it's a giant challenge. And, and, and we, we've been at it so long that we've gotten very good at it. Uh, but there are going to be funding sources uh, as unknown as reported by the county. We have no control over that. Although, as a quick sideline, an anecdotal comment. Since COVID, we have noticed that counties have gotten better at reporting data because when COVID hit, it was like the tide went out and all the counties that didn't have swim trunks on were standing there going, uh-oh. And by that, I mean the counties that stink at reporting their data are getting better because huge pressure was poured up, put on them because we were locked in our houses and all we could do was access what they had that was online. And if it was, you know, lacking, absent or garbage, they got found out. So uh, that's just anecdotal. Um, so we've got investor type property type, and funding source. All of that uh, allowing you to customize exactly the type of buyer you're looking for. So you'll easily see repeat buyers, the real players, and we use a, a colored star coding system for that. You'll see historical activity and current holdings. And like in all of our data feeds, we have heat maps that give you superior market intelligence, you can literally see exactly where the investor buyers are buying. And you, here too, you can set specific alerts for new buyers and or transactions that meet a certain criteria. And this is, I am super excited to, to mention this because this is the first time I'm mentioning it. Uh, we have, in fact, it's due to release here in just the next week or two, 
a brand new tool within the investor buyer data feed that is our property buyer matching tool. So you can literally take the information about the property you have, plug it into the system, and it will go and find the buyers who are most inclined, who have the greatest propensity to want to buy your house based on their past and current activity. Literally, the system does the work for you of going and finding those buyers. Unbelievably unique in the marketplace. There's nothing else like it. And this, this particular tool, we do not make available to the general public. It's just too awesome. And we keep it for, for ourselves, for me, and for just our very best clients for that reason. Oops. Uh, so here's what I was talking about with the stars. The green stars are uh, investors who have five or more transactions found, meaning in the last 12 months, the yellow stars are two to four. So, you know, you've got single transactions where there is no star. You've got two to four transactions where there's a yellow star and more and five or more transactions where there is a green star. So you can literally, literally <laughs> see who the real players are. Kathy wrote in and said, I think the system is great. The fact that I can narrow my searches down to investor type or funding source really allows me to quickly find the perfect tool, uh, pool, excuse me, find the perfect pool of buyers for my properties. This tool is a massive time saver and time is money when it comes to finding buyers. She could not be more correct about that. Here's a, a look at the heat map. And this is on that same, uh, same area, roughly the same area of St. Lucie County. Again, just an area I'm familiar with in South Florida. Um, so we can see exactly where those buyers are buying. You get all their contact information, including for many of them, their phone numbers and email addresses. We have push button direct mail campaigns at our direct cost. Again, not a profit center. And here the messaging is very different. So the templated letters and postcards have much different language. And then like, uh, the motivated seller data feed, you can upload a letter or postcard that you may want to use that isn't in our system. And you can, um, you know, use the macros and, and pull it all together there with that. We've got marketing tools and scripts here. Again, the messaging different because we're talking to buyers now and it's all available in our simple dashboard environment. So check this out. Okay. This is a, a buyer uh, and this is their, the uh, detail or the profile of this buyer. So look at all the entities under which this buyer is and has bought properties. Pretty crazy. So that is a lot of entities that, that we were able to find and tie to this one buyer. So there's their address and contact information, 45 properties uh, and a total of 51 owned at this time. The different types of properties, yellow is a rental, blue is wholesale. Green's a rehab, the timeline it took uh, between buying and selling it. Uh, and we also have um, land, if, that, if this was a land buyer, you'd see that um, sort of uh, magenta pink color there. So it'll tell you, you know, what they bought, when they bought it. And then you can click through on the detail and look at what they paid for it, the bedrooms, bathrooms, all of that stuff, uh, and get a very, very detailed look at exactly what they're doing. So, uh, and then here's a, a consolidated list where rental, rental, rehab, rehab, rental, rental, and then, you know, more rental, 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 and their residential properties. If you look at the property type, the type of funding they used when they bought it, private lender, mortgage, cash, and then there are some wholesale deals on this, the third page, and clearly they are, you know, paying cash, and you can see exactly the property, what they paid for it, all of that, uh, the investment date, very, very powerful information. It's, it's, it's a form of spyware, to be honest. And frankly, if this uh, level of info seems a little spooky to you, uh, I get it, but it's out there. And so what we did was we said, look, this is out there. Let's aggregate it in a way that makes it available to you in a super, super useful way. And um, it's so if, if, and one other interesting thing I want to point out is if you find a buyer who's buying in this area, but they're also buying in Denver, Colorado, you're gonna know that because those properties are gonna show up there as well. So it's not location 
specific, it's location agnostic. That buyer, we're going to get you the information of what they're buying, when they bought it, what they paid for it, the, the purpose for which they bought it, wholesale rehab, all of that, regardless of where it is in the United States. I think that is extremely, extremely useful. And so does Charles. He said, with this system, no investor should ever be concerned about developing a buyer's list in the United States again. I think the categorization of the investors is excellent. And the fact that I can search specifically for landlords, cash buyers, rehabbers, and wholesalers is great for pinpoint marketing of properties. Couldn't agree with you more. Check this out. Uh, just got this um, in the last couple of weeks. This came from Don. He's out in California. One of the past, and I'm going to go ahead and read this to you because I think it's powerful. One of the past along to you is a success story we were part of. Uh, by using the investor buyer data feed. We put a property under contract in March with a closing to be completed just after Easter of this year. Shortly after we were under contract, we decided not to rehab the property as it was located about 90 minutes or so from our office in the Southern part of the San Francisco Bay area. And the work we estimated to be in the neighborhood of $75,000. It was a rehab and that was more, I guess, than they wanted to tackle. Using the investor buyer data feed, I located 10 possible buyers who were buying in the area. After only calling five on the list and leaving messages for all of them, I received a call back from the first buyer who asked about the property and the numbers. And within a, a few minutes, he said he would buy the property for cash at the price I quoted him on an assignment. Uh, so we did not fund this deal. As I'm one to always leave some meat on the bone, we profited in the amount of $64,750. It was one of the smoothest transactions we've had in a long time. And the buyer wants to buy more properties as soon as we get them under contract. Thanks, Cam, for the Investor Buyer Data Feed Program, which identifies available buyers in any area of the U.S. Add in one's desire to buy low and sell low, and using the motivated seller data feed, anyone can be successful purchasing property. All it takes is prospecting for sellers using the pre-screening script provided, uh, and less than 25 seconds of one's time to change their future. That's true. Quick message left on voicemail can change everything. So uh, clearly Don is not only using the motivated seller data feed, but he's now using our new tool, the investor buyer data feed and made $64,750 on it. And here is the closing statement. He was kind enough to send that along to us. And there is his assignment fee to his company, $64,750. Thanks for sharing that with us, Don. I sure appreciate it. Well, of course, you're going to get one full year of unlimited access of the investor buyer data feed as well. So there you have our essential number three covered, thoroughly covered by the scarcely available investor buyer data feed, only available to our very best customers, not available to the general public at all. The last one to cover is professional effective websites and business automation. So that's where we literally attract sellers and buyers to us by giving ourselves credibility, by having those effective websites that attract traffic, search engine optimized websites. So let's talk for a second about doing the business as a, a hobby or as a real business. Well, you know, I think a lot of people, they, they, they might, you know, they do one deal a year and it's kind of a hobby and they never really automate the process. So let's, let's take a look at this. What, what is the average income per deal? Well, we've already just dis, uh, discovered that over the last 12 months, our average profit that our clients have made on the deals we've funded and know about was $17,392. That's the average, okay? So that's a reasonable number. Let's just call it 17 grand. And what is the average time spent per deal on a typical wholesale deal? Well, you know, the beauty of wholesaling is it doesn't take a lot of time. It's not like rehabbing. You don't have all that extra energy and risk going into it. That's one of the reasons I love wholesaling so much. Now, granted, we leave a lot of profit on the table for our buyer and generally our buyer will make more on the house than we do, but that's okay. They got to work hard to get it. So the average time spent on a deal it's going to run in the five to 10 hours. And, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm talking about over the course of say 30 or 40 days, right? So you talk to a seller, you get a deal together, you put it on a contract. You know, today is the 11th of May. It's my sister's birthday, by the way. And I did reach out to her. <laughs> uh, and so the clock starts ticking or, or has already started ticking because we put some time in with a seller, maybe an hour or two at the most, right? So we've got the contract. 
Now we go, we, we flip the, the coin and now we're working on the buyer. We find the buyer, we put it in a contract. We've got another couple hours of the deal. Now we get it to the closing. Uh, we're, you know, you're, if you're having us fund it, we're working with the closing agent or agents. Sometimes there's two, making sure everything goes smoothly on time. And boom, you have two closings back to back, or if it's an assignment, fine. Um, and you, you're talking five to 10 hours on a typical wholesale transaction. Well, when you do that, just say once a month, really make a business of it, do it once a month. That's 17 grand a month, an extra 17 grand a month with five to 10 hours of your time. That's a pretty high hourly rate. Well, what about doing it twice a month? Let's kick it up a notch. Now we're at like $34,000 a month. And okay, not five to 10 hours of our time. Now it's 10 to 20 hours of our time over the course of a month. What if we did it three or more times per month? Guys, now we're looking at, you know, an airplane or a, a Lamborghini or, a, a, you know, a Porsche or Ferrari or whatever it is, a new house, a boat, uh, you know, did I say helicopter <laughs> or an airplane? That's what I'm talking about. And in order to get to that level, you've got to be willing to systemize your business. Systemize the business. Now, what happens sometimes is people get what I call one deal-itis, where they think they can only manage the details of one deal at a time. Well, having a system or systemizing your business eliminates that. Um, so if the details are bogging you down, you just need a system. Or maybe you're asking yourself, should you move into other markets? You know, maybe you're in a market like mine in upstate New York, where there's so little uh, inventory that you need to be in other markets to, to, you know, do any real business. So if that's the case, then yeah, you should move into other markets and you're going to want to systemize the business to do it. Do you have professional, effective websites that attract more people? If the answer to that one is no, well, then clearly you need to use iFlip. iFlip real estate is the real estate specific CRM. Uh, we originally developed this uh, going back almost 14 years, and it has evolved dramatically over that time. We just came out with a new release about two months ago. And uh, if you've been around a while or if you've been using it, you know just how incredible the update was. iFlip properties automatically, and you can too. iFlip is your real estate CRM. That's, that CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It is your workflow tool. Simply put, it is your workflow tool. iFlip is a complete hands-off cloud-based real estate money-making software system. It gives you the ability to do business in multiple markets, which clearly increases your opportunity. And it gives you the ability to manage multiple deals at once so that you can scale your business and take it from a hobby to a real business. It's all centralized in one location and you have access to it if you have access to the internet. This is not some application that goes on your, your computer or your phone. It is... Um, it is browser-based, so you can access it with any device, even a public device, uh, from anywhere you have an internet connection. Um, and, and so you've got unlimited websites, done-for-you templates, SEO-optimized and dynamic, with effective styling designed to capture visitor information. And then also we have easy-to-use authority-building blogs. And with ChatGPT, you can write a blog post so easily now. You just get in there and edit it, make it your own. You know, uh, 10 reasons why to, to sell your house to me and not list it with a realtor. ChatGPT GPT will write you a 500-page blog post just like that. Um, so we've got websites to attract motivated sellers. And the beauty is you get unlimited websites. So if you want to be in multiple markets, you can have a website that's unique to, you know, Goose Creek, South Carolina, and one that's unique to upstate New York and that have two very different domains, right? It could be Goose Creek house buyers or, or Southern Tier house buyers. And each of those domains matter to the people local. And so having multiple websites in multiple locations makes a ton of sense, especially considering 
that the information that you add to the system or that visitors add to the forms by filling out the forms and telling you about their house or what they want to buy, that all goes into the iFlip system and you can easily segregate or segment by location. So you can easily manage you know, your business in multiple markets by using iFlip. It is really powerful for that. Uh, and then to attract, again, you know, we have multiple different versions and they're uniquely uh, SEO optimized. Uh, and that is what's really important. So um, then there are sites for motivated buyers and also for your property scouts or bird dogs uh, who are going to be helping you either locally or in that market that might be halfway across the country. They're your local boots on the ground. And so you've got websites to attract them and bring them into your system as well. Jerry Peterson wrote in, he said, I just want to let you know, I got my first wholesale deal done using the iFlip system. It worked great. I made 18,000 on it and I've got a bunch more lined up and have made great progress in building a buyer's list. iFlip was the key component in getting this deal done for me and it's paving the way to doing many more deals. Um, so integrated web forms that automatically populate your database. So on our Websites that attract motivated sellers, we give them an opportunity to fill out a, a form online and tell us about their house. And what this does is it literally pre-screens those sellers without you having to be involved. It does the work for you of pre-screening those sellers and buyers and potential bird dogs. Unlimited email accounts. So now what that means is you have email, you at your domain. So Treasure Coast House Buyers. Cam at Treasure Coast House Buyers. If your email is at gmail.com, <laughs> Google doesn't need your help advertising them. They've got that covered. What you need to be doing is building your own brand. So when it's you at your email address or your team members, them at your, your domain, sorry. When it's you at your domain and the rest of your team, mail, team members at your domain, you're building a brand. That's important. Google doesn't need any help. There's multiple user support. So now you can set parameters for other logins. If you've got a, a virtual assistant who's helping you call sellers and make appointments for you to you know, call and talk to and get the property under contract, you can give them access and limit what they have access to. Our exclusive deal flow system. So there's, there's your workflow. So the idea here is now you see exactly where the properties are along this uh, deal flow. So if you've got a property that's stuck here, it's gonna, it's gonna pop out to you. You're gonna say, oh yeah, I gotta get back to that house and do that thing or get that thing. And so that I can keep moving it along that pipeline uh, and getting, the, getting it done into a paycheck is the whole idea. Advanced email and autoresponder marketing systems. So what an autoresponder does is it sends out messages that you've already composed to sellers, buyers, bird dogs that you subscribe to that autoresponder. And then it does the follow-up for you automatically. I've been using, I literally built my business using email autoresponders to begin with. That was how I built this digital marketing business of mine, <laughs> literally using a $20 a month autoresponder. Well, you've got it built in here and you don't have to pay for it. There's a rehab property manager in there to keep you on, uh, on uh, schedule and on budget, both very important. There's push button direct mail campaigns and marketing management. Uh, again, any direct mail that you do through our systems is done at our cost. Uh, there is a smart calendar and task manager. And that, again, all populates across the data feeds. If you add a task in the motivated seller data feed, it will you will see it in iFlip. And so our tools are integrated for that reason. Our bird dog management systems, so they're not stepping on each other's toes. If you're working with more than one in any particular market, that management system will make that much easier for you. Check this out. This came from Greg. It says, Hey, Cam, Greg Frazier here. I guess I don't need to tell you how great your system is, but check this out. I placed my ads for bird dogs and buyers yesterday, and the response has been nothing less than excellent. I got 27 bird dog and 18 buyer responses in the first 24 hours. That's what the power of search optimization, search engine optimization, SEO, is all about, is getting your website noticed when people do a search 
getting it on that first page, getting it noticed. So what about bird dogs? Well, they no longer go on that scavenger hunt and hunt down vacant houses for us. Instead, now they go to a list of addresses that we provide them and pre-screen them for us. So we don't even have to go see those houses if we don't want to. They could be local and we don't have to go, or they could be three states away and we don't have to go. But we provide them with a list of houses. And so what that means is if you use them at all, uh, they're, they're property scouts or property pre-screeners, and they play a much higher role and, and are a more integral part of your business. So, you know, in the old days, bird dogs would run around on scavenger hunts and, and find you houses that were vacant and run down. Now we give them the addresses of the properties we're interested in. They go, they take pictures, they, they may get inside, they, you know, we reach the seller. There are eyes in the property. There are boots on the ground. <coughs> so important to us taking this from a hobby to a real business. So they're how you can do business in multiple markets right there from your desk. This one came from Richard. I just wanted to let you know how well the iFlip real estate system is working for me. Currently, I have 19 bird dogs here in Omaha alone and more properties coming in than we can handle. It's truly amazing how well this iFlip real estate system works if you work the system. I've done two deals so far at 5,000 each and am scheduled for three more in the next two weeks. My goal is to do six to eight a month. Guys, that's in Omaha gotta love it. Of course, you've got mobile anytime, anywhere access. You can access the system with any uh, web-enabled device uh, because it is browser-based. This is not an app on your phone. It's too huge. It could, it could never be an app on your phone. It is too huge. So that's the thing with apps. They're teeny. They're very small in terms of uh, the space they take up on your phone. So this is a browser-based tool, which means you can access it from any tool that's connected to the internet. That I really like. That was, that was by design. It's fully integrated with our proof of funds and funding, the motivated seller data feed, the investor buyer data feed. Uh, all of these tools work together because they were all designed, coded by us with that intention in mind. This isn't some, you know, thing where we grab code from here or, you know, some open source code over there. No. This is all written by us, for us, for the purpose of this being an end-to-end -end integrated solution. Here's one from Ivory. I posted an ad using the marketing tools in iFlip and found my very first deal, which was funded by Cam and his team, where I made a profit of $20,800. I can't wait to do more deals with his office and his tools. Well, I'm excited to hear that from you, Ivory. Thank you. So look. Setup time is seven minutes. Even if you're not a techie, here's the best part about all of our tools. You do not need to be a techie to use these. They were designed for people who are not techies. So literally setup time on your iFlip system is minutes. And if you need a hand, we've already talked about how available my team is. Get on the phone, get a live chat going. We are here to help. We wanna make sure you're getting full use and full value from the program. And, uh, you know, so we're available. That's how, that's, that's our motivation. There are training tutorials, uh, which by the way, we just redid. Unmatched telephone, live chat, and email support seven days a week. We are available by email on the weekends, which uh, is pretty strong. And then, and, and just ask Dawn, she loves it. We funded this deal for her, $90,988. She made 12,994 bucks. I'm sure that was a great day for Dawn. I have no doubt about it. It'd be a great day for you, wouldn't it? Uh, so there you have it. Our essential number four, professional effective websites and business automation all through the iFlip Real Estate CRM. So excited. Now you'll recall, we talked earlier that your one-time setup charge is normally $2,497, but no, not here, not now. And look, you know, any friend of, of uh, Carolina and Tom's is a friend of ours. So no, your setup charge, you can do it in one of two ways, either through a four pay option, which is 497 now, and then 497 again at 30, 60, 90 day intervals. Nothing's held back. Uh, you get immediate access to everything. Or if you can swing it, I'll pick, pick up one of those payments and you can have it for the one-time setup charge of 1497. And again, you get unlimited access to everything for one full year. And you've got immediate access. So literally when you head over to this special webpage and you get on board at tractionria.com forward slash cam, 
or call Nick from my office, Nick Calby at 888-845-5219. By golly, you've got, you, you can literally dig into this tonight, tonight. And so there is no waiting. There is no delay. And I think that's important. So I have some special bonuses for Traction Rea clients. Number one, I mentioned this earlier is a free strategy session uh, and LLC or corporation formation, right? So do it in the right state, select the right type of entity, select the right tax treatment. And that strategy se session with the tax expert is absolutely free, no cost to you whatsoever. Uh, and then the formation work is also free. You're just paying for the state's um, filing fees and the fees that you'd pay if you did it yourself. Only here, you know you're doing it right, given your specific situation, what state you're in, and uh, the, the, the tax treatment that serves you best, given, again, given your specific situation. You're only going to pay state filing and required fees. That's it. And you pay for that anyway without the free consultation. And by the way, why would they do this? Why would this, this company full of tax attorneys and CPAs do this, uh, at, provide you with this consultation at no cost? Well, number one is their relationship with me. That's the primary reason. But the, in fairness, they're also going to make you aware of other services they provide, like uh, tax prep, um, asset protection, um, estate planning, trusts, wills, all of that stuff, which you may or may not need now. And there's no obligation of, of any kind that you engage them for any of that. But their hope is that you will or will at some point in the future because you've had such a good experience with them. That's what's in it for them. And so, but there's absolutely no obligation on your part whatsoever. If all you do is have them, uh, you know, give you their thoughts and advice on the right entity, and then they form that for you, that's fine. They're good with that. So the next bonus is our custom comps tool. This too is not available to the general public. It's just too good. It's too darn good to make it available to anybody. It's only available to our very best clients. And it includes all sales, not just those in the MLS. And when you ask a realtor for comps, you're getting the ones that went through the MLS and probably not the ones that didn't. And by the way, I saw a statistic recently that 82% of residential real estate is, is sold through the local MLS, 82%. That's the vast majority, but that's 18% of deals that aren't that I want to know about. And I'm sure you do too. So that's why that's so important that you get all sales, not just the ones that went through the MLS. You're actively involved in the process. So you literally get in there and select the comps that you want to use to uh, come to this after repair value, which is so important. It's too important to be left to chance. And by the way, this gives you unmatched market intelligence. There's all kinds of other data in there for you to see. It'll give you uh, deep market knowledge in minutes, not months or years. And we could easily charge $50 a month for this, but we don't. And by the way, I should add that I asked a great friend of mine, I went to college with him. He, uh, in college, was an appraiser and had a real estate brokerage license in college. And he's the one that kind of encouraged me to get involved in real estate to begin with. And then I went and bought Carlton Sheets program and that's how it all began. But um, <clears throat> when we designed the custom comp system, I went and asked for his help because he went on from there, moved to Atlanta and has grown one of the largest um, appraisal firms in the Southeastern US. He's in like six states. I mean, this guy has built a huge business. Nobody knows more about the appraisal business than my friend Scott. And I asked him to consult with us when we developed this tool, and he did, and he helped make us helped us make it the best tool of its kind anywhere in existence. And naturally, you're going to get one full year of unlimited access to it. You're going to get our tier two style premium client support that is all done in the in-house in the US. So imagine the value of being helped by someone whose first language is English and whose name really is Bianca or Melanie. Well, that's priceless. So, uh, you know, that's how we roll. American jobs in America, paid American dollars. We could offshore this stuff. We could send it to the Philippines. We don't. Our development, we could send that to Ukraine, you know, that and or India. We don't. 
And, and, it's, and we could save a ton of money if we did, but we don't. And it's a function of philosophy, general philosophy on my part. Then I'm going to provide you with a home study program. And this one is a game changer because you're going to master the purchase and sale agreement, which is also known as the real estate contract. When you go through this, it's called the purchase and sale agreement, line by line, buying and selling junkers. We go through every paragraph, every blank and cover what goes in them and why in detail. So we'll go through it once as the buyer and then again as the seller. So you see both sides. And you know what? When we're wholesaling properties, we're the buyer over here and we're negotiating as the buyer. And then we're the seller over here. We're negotiating as the seller. So we don't sell like we buy and we don't buy like we sell. So it's important that we go through this twice and see both sides and what goes in those blanks and paragraphs when we're buying and then what goes in them, which is different when we're selling. And then there, uh, it's available by way of online streaming audio with downloadable agreements so that you can follow along. This, like everything else, will be made available to you immediately when you get over to that special website, tractionria.com forward slash cam and get on board with the program. You can do the four pay option uh, or you can give us a call at 888-845-5219. If you've got specific questions about the program, by golly, give Nick a call. He can help you. He knows more about it than anybody except maybe me. In fact, I think there's a chance he might know more about it than me. You're also going to get two tickets to our three-day in-depth Zoom training where we go through wholesaling houses virtually, meaning remotely, in your backyard and anywhere else in the country you want to do it, step by step. We pinpoint motivated sellers. We talk about how to evaluate, negotiate, and inspect properties virtually without ever having to go there. And then how to zero in on active investor buyers in any market and sell your deals fast. It is taught by me personally. And uh, it is a three-day training. It is extremely thorough. And I wholeheartedly encourage you to attend, which is why we're throwing in two free tickets. You're also going to get membership in my private inner circle. This is coaching support directly from me. We do that by uh, twice monthly live deal maker webinars. We do them on Zoom like this uh, with me that are archived. So we do that on the first and third Tuesday of the month at one o'clock Eastern. In fact, uh, the next deal maker webinar is this coming week. Um, so you can attend those and ask questions live, or if not, you and I'll address it and then you can watch it on the archive and hear me address your question. And so uh, is pretty unique in a program like this to get, um, you know, to get my time. Um, you can also ask questions through our question bank. That is uh, daily access to me and my team. Um, so you've got me live on those webinars twice a month, first and third Tuesday at one Eastern. And then in between those webinars, you've got access to the question bank where you can get your questions answered every day. Uh, and there is a private knowledge base, which is a real estate wiki where we have archived many, 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 I'm, I can't even begin to guess how many questions and answers. So you may find the answer to what you're looking for just by doing a quick search there. Our offer generator is a really interesting software tool. It's web-based, so it's not something you download. You put in the parameters of your deal and it'll come back and give you a suggested offer and, and even tell you if it's not a good deal and why. If it is a good deal, it'll tell you why. And if it's not, it'll tell you why. And then our REO Vault, which gets you access to um, foreclosure deals that are not generally made available to the public. So you've got one full year of unlimited access in my private inner circle, which again is coaching support directly from me. The two options are four payments, one now of 497 and then 497 again at 30, 60, 90 day intervals, which makes it a lot more affordable. I mean, let's face it, but it is, it is more expensive. Uh, why, why is it? Creative um, energy that goes into it and it's human capital. It's not something that's, And I don't know if you've hired anybody lately, but uh, humans are expensive. What the heck happened? So uh, if you can. Um, and 
So I'd, I'd encourage you to do that. You'd save a bunch of money. But if you can't swing the 1497, well, I totally get that. Then take the four pay option and get going immediately because the sooner you get started, the better. And again, what happens at the end of a year? Nope, it's not 1497 again. It's only $1,000 and it's on your approval. It is not forced continuity. We do not just suddenly bill your card a thousand bucks and you know set off alarms on your phone and have you all mad at us. That is not how we roll. <laughs> no. Uh, and you get continued access to everything, including the bonus for the next year and the next year and the year after that and the year after that. Now, I mentioned earlier that enrollment is strictly limited to 16 new participants. I don't know how many are left now. I'm certain that uh, a bunch of those 16 are gone. Uh, so I would encourage you to jump on this right now. Go to tractionria.com forward slash cam or give Nick a call at 888-845-5219. He can take your order over the phone. Online, uh, Visa, Master, Amex, Dis uh, Discover, and PayPal. And then uh, if you wanted to say you wanted to do the full pay $14.97, but split it across two credit cards, you're going to want to call and talk to Nick about that. Uh, and just the same, if you are a trifecta program owner, you can upgrade to our essentials for only $1,000. So basically it's the renewal cost and you get everything. That's another one where you're going to want to call Nick to do that on the phone because he'll verify that in fact you're eligible for that. Um, so head over to that special website again, Ria, I'm sorry, uh, tractionria.com forward slash cam, my name, C-A-M, or give us a call at 888-845-5219. Why this program? Why me? Why my team? Well, data is not data, okay? And so we look at data and what we present to our clients uniquely, uh, and in many cases, very differently from other sources, okay? so. Uh, I'm not going to dig into it, but uh, suffice to say, there's type one, type two errors. Type one is a false positive. Type two is a false negative. We err toward false negatives so that you're not spending time and money on false positives. That is a philosophical approach. Uh, 25, actually more than 25 years of creating problem solving tools. You know, after all these years, I literally, the first tool I ever created was a training built around a Texas Instruments financial calculator. I was a whiz at running it. And a friend of mine said, you've created a little training for folks because you, you run, people, you know, have a really hard time with that. And you've clearly got it mastered. You should teach folks how to do that. So I created that little tool in 1995. And since then we have grown, you know, two, two sides of my business, the asset side where I'm buying and selling. And then what is now a fintech company on the other side, each, you know, very separate, but, uh, you know, a really symbiotic relationship where over here I'm learning about, you know, problems that need solving. And over here I'm solving problems that need solving. And over here I'm benefiting from the solutions. And, and it, it's, it's been a hell, a hell of a ride. And it's been more than 25 years now. I mean, we're almost to 30. And here's the thing. I'm still here. After all these years, I was talking to an old friend of mine just uh, yesterday, and we were talking about all the people who have come and gone in the real estate training business because they never built a real business. They never took care of their clients. They only cared about revenue. And here we are almost 30 years later, still here. And some people say, hey, Cam, when are you going to retire? My answer, never, because retire and dead to me are synonymous. So I just require way too much mental stimulation to ever retire. So that ain't happening. I'm having too much fun. I love what I do. And by the way, the minute I don't, then maybe we'll talk about it. But I absolutely love what I do. Every day I get out of bed. I vault out of bed at 5.30 in the morning. I can't wait to get up and get going. We function under the, uh, the whole concept of Kaizen, which is constant and never-ending improvement. Um, you know, that, that is what uh, nearly put the American car makers and the Japanese out of business and, and the Japanese car makers on top of the heap back in the day. Uh, dedicated U.S.-based team, American people working in American jobs in America, making American dollars. That's how we roll. We do not use a support ticket system because that would make you feel like a number. It certainly makes me feel like a number. No, we use phone, chat, and email, and we respond. Imagine that. Unmatched client support, people who actually care about your success. And remember, I don't have a big business. I have a great business, one where we are focused on relationships. Not transactional focused, but relationship focused. And I can tell you, David would agree. 
We funded a deal for him, 225 grand. He made $58,715 on that deal. Man, that was a good day for him. There they are. The four essentials right in front of you. And here, and by the way, I'm going to go back to this one last time. 86 million funded, uh, 14 million in profits made by our clients. Isn't it about time you got your share of that? Isn't it about time you got your share? There it is. That's the entire offer. It's spelled out for you on that special webpage at tractionria.com forward slash cam. And oh, you might have thought I forgot I didn't. You get the secret blueprint for success. Here's how you get it. This is your step by step workflow. Go to rewn.com forward slash blueprint. Simple as that. Rewn.com forward slash blueprint. And you can download that, save it to your phone, put it on your computer, print it, put it on the wall. That's the offer. There it is. Yours for either four payments of $4.97 or a single payment, one-time payment, a big savings of $14.97. Go to, get over to tractionria.com forward slash cam or give Nick in my office a call. He's working late just like us, just like all of us at 888-845-5219. Carolina, is that a fair offer for your folks? That's that's my my big question to you. It is. I like it. I, I love Everything is there for them. And I love it that they can place the order now and start working on now. So thank you so much, Cam. My pleasure. It is, like I said, an end-to-end -end solution. Everything you need to get in and do the business and cure the shiny object syndrome. Thank you very much for the opportunity to share with your folks. I look forward to working with those of you guys that have gotten on board or that are getting on board right now. I look forward to, to working with you and uh, seeing you on my next three-day training as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Cam. And thank you so much, everybody. Um, I'll leave the, the, the meeting open for just a few minutes in case anybody else has a call, but I put on the chat uh, the link. I put Nick's phone number. So Good. we are here for you. And uh, thank you again. And for Traction Remembers, this is your virtual stamp. This counts as a meeting. So uh, make sure you put that on your car. And then go to the website. And if you have any other questions, uh, just call Nick on that number. And thank you again for joining us. Um, I'll leave the, the meeting open. And if there's any questions, I'll be on the chat. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. See you. Thank you.